and welcome to another episode of the Cyber Shindig Podcast, everybody. It's episode 68. What's up with that? Lick, lick, lick my balls. <laughs> As always, I'm your host, Johnny Goodrich, and with me is your other host, the big fucking dog on campus. Pokemon Master Mackerel. He's catching them all. Catching them all. In like two days. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't eat. He doesn't feed his cat only two or, of those are true or his girlfriend <laughs> three are true <laughs> he doesn't talk to nobody it's only going to be a 10 minute episode because i got to get back and into the game again like, i gotta get those bonus pokemon out there yeah what's happening everybody i'm sick again mike shook his sickness i'm shooketh i'm, I'm gone st- i'm still fucked over um so as is life though thankfully though mike came in clutch tonight he showed up uh or he I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but he was in town a little bit early today and showed up with some hot chocolates from McDonald's, and I am fucking loving it. I didn't know they had hot chocolate. I came early, and I was going to stop by by the board, local local shop in Lowell. I love it. And I spent so much fucking money there. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but I didn't know they were closed on uh, Wednesdays, which really bummed me out. I didn't know that either. So I needed some comfort food, and I got hot chocolate, and then I was 15 minutes late. So you didn't even get, dude, whenever I go to my, you didn't get like any food food? I ate before coming. Oh. I do yeah. that because like your mom scares me, because yeah. whenever I come over, she's like, are you hungry? Oh my God. I'm like, if I say yes, I'm just given pounds of food. <laughs> you are. Um. I don't have the willpower to not get food from McDonald's. I should have got a McRib, honestly. Oh, fuck. No, I'd at least get like a small fry. Nah, McRib. Like whenever I... Oh, Three God, fries. Fuck that. Um, whenever I go there, in the if I go, go get coffee there, mm-hmm. I have to get a hash brown. I'll be like, yeah, small uh, half and half coffee with a hash brown. That- or if, if it's later, I'll get like just a small fry. Yeah. If I'm swinging through. Hash brown's a good like driving food. It's so easy. French fries, I feel like, are a bit more dangerous. Oh, yeah. You can drop them. Well, and also, I don't know about you, but I am not a French fry guy unless I have ketchup. Mm, I need a dipping sauce. I don't, but I prefer one. <laughs> You're a madman. I am a psychopath. Uh, what was I going to tell you? Oh, um, dude, everything I eat is like kind of revolves around being eaten in the car because I drive so much for work. Okay. So my whole like work diet, mm-hmm. like what I have for breakfast and like how I eat my breakfast and my lunch is all just like designated on driving. Interesting. So I've like over the years, I've got it down to I could either do oatmeal and I like drink, driving. I drink the oatmeal through like a water bottle pretty much. That's like, sick. you know, like a shaker, that is like a disgusting. shaker bottle. It's yeah. kind of gross. It's gross. But I drink most of my <laughs> breakfasts. Imagine like driving next to a person drinking oatmeal yeah, out of me. a water bottle. It's like this nasty, like gray sludge. Yeah, that would be I'm like. It's like the people who only eat, drink uh, protein shakes like oh, for breakfast. Dude, that shit. No, just have you ever seen like the uh, juice diets where no. they, they only do like veggie juiced, like. It's oh like a God. it's like a purge of their body. They call it. It's disgusting. I saw a girl doing that in college once, and she had like two mason jars full of warm green shit. And you just ran up and like punched her. I in wanted the... to smack the <laughs> fuck out of her with that ball jar she had with the green <laughs> shit in it. She was like drinking it, and you know how like some people on like fad diets or like I don't know that eat like strict or like they like to talk about it all the time. Oh yeah, she was whenever those, someone's on it, that's all they it's like talk CrossFit. about. CrossFit. She's like one of hashtag those. sober September. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was us for sure for like one month. <laughs> but she's like, I'm on a all liquid diet. I was like, I don't know if that's good for you though. You should have been like, so you're not eating. You just told me you're not eating. Yeah, pretty you're much just drinking. Basically, she's just like drinking like fucking vegetables. Like that's <laughs> she wasn't. I don't think she was doing any meat. She was just like pureeing all these veggies. It Gross. was really weird. Just like fucking mashed potatoes. Yeah, I won't know. Like more That's greens. <laughs> if I was on a liquid diet, I would yeah. like get that shit all liquidy and just drink <sighs> it out of a cup like you did. I want a juicer though. You want to? I want to get a juicer. I don't know. It'd be fun. You have like these tendencies to want something and then you never use it. I know that is a hundred percent. I'm trying to think of some other things. Like how many times have you used that microwave? Oh, dude, that thing is a lifesaver. You can. Man, that is the best $50 I think I've ever spent. I swear to God, that's like up there in some of the best things I've done this month. Does it have Maybe a name? Maybe this year. That's old Bess. Bess? Old Bess. Dude, 
I don't know. I just yeah, best. I was like, I don't all right. Know. I could probably come best. up with some cooler than that. No, I like best. You, like you have best? to stick with it. She's now. a workhorse. She ma- mostly specializes in pizza rolls. The, the, okay. Late night. Ooh, she's a late she's night a worker, late huh? Night. She's, uh, she's a lady of the night. She burns that midnight oil. That's all I know. Yeah, mostly pizza rolls and pizza bagels. Um, and then the occasional reheat of like leftovers. Okay. You kind of go, you don't eat like uh, driving food then when you're home. I was going to no. ask if it carries over to your dinner. No. Oh, your home oh I forgot to tell you about my lunch. So I, I just dice up. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, right. I just dice up grilled chicken and it's basically like little chicken nuggets I eat with my fingers. Oh. And then I'll like do either carrots or diced up broccoli. You just mix it in? No, I have it in like two separate containers. Okay. And then I like, you know, just Pop finger in? food and I have little wet naps for my hands. Because they get a little greasy. A little wet nap naps? Yeah, a little wetty naps. Okay. Wet nappies. Do they have the scent on them? <laughs> I had a wet nap the other night. Um, do they have a scent? Yes, they're scented. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> a wet nap? <laughs> no, man, what? That, I don't know if that's... What are you talking about? That, you could coin that term. I don't think I a don't wet nap. A wet nap. <laughs> yeah, you wake up from like a three-hour nap and you're just... Turned on or hot? One of the two. Both. Okay. <laughs> sweaty and turned on <laughs> partially <laughs> turned on i don't know yeah but i just eat everything i eat is just based around driving and how like i can convenience myself hmm. to driving and eating see i'm not like you i'm not on the go all the time i'm yeah. always sitting down whenever well, I'm you eating. get to yeah you get to sit down when you eat i could do that but i just waste time like that's half an hour i could be like on the road and then half an hour earlier i'd be home yeah you know what I mean? Well, shoot, if I could be a half hour earlier home, I just would not eat lunch. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that too. Yeah, but I'm driving, so I'm like, I might as well eat It doesn't eat matter. Something. Yeah, yeah exactly. You can just eat something all day if you wanted to. I could. Yeah. Sometimes, oh, I used to do that. I used to just have like snacks on snacks. Well, I was told you went to the donut, sh- not the donut shop, the uh, Dunkin' Bakery. Donuts. Oh, Dunkin'? When? Yeah. I go there all the time. Yeah, your sister said that you brought home some Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, um, I usually, when I go... If I don't have coffee, I'll go get coffee, and they have really good hash browns, too. Mm-hmm. I just love a little treat in the morning. You and your hash browns. They're fucking nice. Yeah. Hash brown John. I add it to my little like morning breakfast of scrambled eggs. Like, yeah. That, that's what I do for... Did I tell you what I what else I do? Okay, so I do oatmeal, and then I'll do scram... I've been on a scrambled egg kick. I like scrambled where, eggs, Where yeah. I just dice up a bunch of like deli meat. You put meat. some Tabasco sauce on uh, that? I don't know about that. You're nuts. I'd be crap in my pants. I have an upset tummy on the road. I don't want that. That'll build up your tummy, okay? You got to get used to that hot food. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. fuck. I don't know. It's a it's a rough situation when you have when you don't have like a set bathroom to go in. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I've always had a restroom. It's like you got to be bland. I have never once though in my life pooped at work. You're insane. Never. Either I don't know. Whenever I'm outside of my apartment, my butthole just doesn't work. It just I don't understand how closes you can do up. That. And but then when I get home, it's like, hey, it's like, we home. This is this, <laughs> this seems like uh, like common territory or it's known a good territory. place to uh, open up, take a look at, and see just what's going on. Axes, everything's just like shit coming out of your fucking pant leg. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't need to like shit all the time though. We've yeah. talked about my colon before. Yeah, yeah, on the podcast. Yes, we have, and in. Uh, in in person like off air yeah yeah it's a pretty uh it's a common topic it's, it is it's a topic that we've talked about in, in yeah a few times but i eat eggs i'll scramble eggs i'll put some deli meat slice up like ham or turkey mm-hmm. cook that up crack three eggs scramble them put them in like a like a longer tupperware jar that's you know about as big as this large coffee mug from mcd's yeah and it's squared off so i can put it in my cup holder and then i can also drink my eggs and I, you like chop it up real fine with like the spatula, so it's real fine little pieces of egg and like meat. Yeah, and you just drink it. That sounds good. Like I'm okay with that. It's good. I thought for some reason I'm on a, a British baking th- kick on Netflix from last Great, night. British Bake Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know how they have like those things they put in the plastic and they like uh, do the icing for. Them? Yeah. I imagined like you just putting your eggs in there and the meat and just like that's a fucking great idea. I wonder if it would come through or not. I don't it just know. goes right in my mouth. You would have to cut like a little thing of uh, like a plastic bag yeah, and try it. Because the only problem that I run into is I spill all over myself. You like, seem like a, a messy boy. I am. Mm-hmm. Like I get eggs on my shirt. That's a lot. where Joseph gets so it from. I'm, like, I'm sure. I'm like getting it off, or I'll zip my jacket all the way up and put the collar up. So it just goes down my jacket, and then I vacuum my car. Oh my god! My van. Get like a little. 
what is it called? A an bi- apron. A bib. No, not a bib. I get a baby bib so it just catches all the shit that I'm eating. And then you can just like pick it up and eat it from your bib. That's what they make. They make those bibs like that. Bada bing. Baby boys and girls. Bada boom. Bada boom. <laughs> yes, so that's what I do for breakfast. So anyways, guys, uh, it's been a whole week. We're just on schedule week. again here. Which is crazy considering you're not feeling well. Yeah. I'm feeling good enough to go to work and like do stuff though. That sucks. So I'm like, if I'm going to work, I'm podcasting. It I hate when you feel well <laughs> enough to go to work, but also not well enough to where you're enjoying living. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, it's a struggle. That's how these past two weeks have been for me. I feel you. But uh, we'll see. I'm hoping that by the weekend, I'm sure by Friday I'll be. Hey, you better be good better, on Friday. Better mood, better spirit, because we got something to look forward to. We'll talk about. Regardless of how you're feeling, you're going to be there. It's whether be it be w- in person or on Skype, gonna you're going to be well, there. On Skype? Fuck no, I'm driving up. Um, anyways, Mike, what have you been up to? We're dying to know. Listeners are dying to hear. Have you gotten anything stolen out of your car again this week? <laughs> What's the deal? Did they catch those guys? What's up? No, they did not. Uh, luckily, I have not gotten anything stolen from my car. <laughs> I Boo. used to. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I used to park like out towards the side of my building because I like to let the older people... Like, have, like, right next to the door. Now you're like, fuck them. Yeah, now I'm like, fuck you, old people. I got to get, like, right next to the door where the Shit, light's God going stolen down. Stolen out of my, or stolen from my car. Yeah, my fucking converter. Um, but nothing's been stolen. Um, Good. <clears throat> my week has been great. Honestly, <laughs> one of the best weeks of my life. Jesus. As you guys know, the new Pokemon game came out, Pokemon Sword and Shield, for the Nintendo Switch, rated E for everyone. It's a e for everyone. <laughs> Wait, which one did you get? Pokemon Sword. What's the difference? Oh, Johnny. <laughs> I want to be the very best. Is that true? Like no one ever <laughs> was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. So the difference between Sword and Shield is um, you get different Pokemon in each one. There's like uh, version exclusion exclusives. Okay. And like the legendary Pokemon are exclusive too. Like the sword, you get a dog that has like a sword in his mouth. Oh, yeah. And shield, the dog has like this huge mane that looks like a shield. Lame. Lame. I do not like the shield <laughs> one. I love the sword one because in Dark Souls, there's a boss, which is a giant wolf that just has a sword in its mouth. That's kind of cool. It's fucking awesome. So are there any other Pokemon that are just, like, I know how, like, red and blue were. There's some, like, you couldn't get a Growlithe on blue. Right. Red, but, you could. Mm-hmm. It's, it's exactly like that. Like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's really the only difference. Uh, the other cool thing is that each version has one gym leader that's exclusive to that. What do you mean? So you know how in red and blue, for yeah. example, uh, they were the same gym leaders. Oh. So, like, in red, instead of Blaine, you would have, like, a different gym oh, leader. Oh, that's kind of cool. But in blue, you would have Blaine. Are they the same types? Nope. Different Pokemon, different trainers, yep. different everything. It's the fourth gym you come across, and if you're playing Pokemon Sword, it's a fighting-type gym. Okay. And if you're playing Shield, it's a ghost-type gym. So, the first three are the same. Yeah, the first three. All of them are the same except those two. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, still, that's kind of different enough that it's like i think "Hmm, so like i'm down for it might buy the other one i wish they could do like more of them like instead of just one gym i was hoping to be like two or three maybe what if they did all of them i'd be okay with that i would not mind at all if they did like all of them except for the first and last one yeah i feel like that'd be cool yeah well the first gym's usually like grass Mm -hmm. bug something Something like really easy easy. yeah which kind of like grass was this one nothing Grass, yeah, nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> it was grass. Uh, okay, so who did you start with? Oh, Sable, the water one. Yeah, the weird little looking. Yo, he was, he is, but I love my water types, and he evolved into a cool like Pokemon. What did you have for Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield starters? Yeah, Sable. He evolves into Intellion. That's kind of cool. That's a cool name. And it's like based off of like a uh, like 007, like an oh, agent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see what these little little mongrels look like. Mongrels. Grookey. That's probably who I would have chose. You actually, listen, Grookey's final evolution, you are down to Badass. clown with them. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's like I'll show you once we look through this real Okay, quick. here's your... Here's your. That is not the final evolution. What the fuck? Oh, is this some fan art? Yeah. So Weeple? Go- <laughs> <and you come laughs> melancholy? That is definitely not what it is. 
That's awesome. Go, that Here looks very phallic. Right? Nope, that's not it either. This isn't Does it? that look it? Oh my god, the last ones, they're just like super jacked. This is all fan art. Go go up is this and it? no. Go up and put a uh, final evolution. <clears throat> okay. There you go. And I'll direct you towards the real ones cuz until recently there was still a lot of fake ones. That's not it. There's still This is so not many it. Still ones. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, uh this? Nope, go down. Oh my god. This? They are not showing them. Nope, keep going. This? Keep going. Good Keep Let going. me just go to search all. Yeah, that would probably. And it'd probably come up on Bulbapedia. Oh, Polygon? Bulbapedia! I'm glad that you know about that. Hey, if you guys have any about questions them. about Pokemon, go to Bulbapedia. They have all the information for you. So this is real. That's this is the, the final, final evolution of Grookey. Shit, dude! It looks like Donkey Kong with like a green afro. That's all leaves. I thought you would <clears> like be down because it has like the drum. It's Hell definitely yeah. like a. Uh, because in London, they've got a bunch of those street performers. Oh, yeah. So I thought like that was a lot of like what they were going with <laughs> like for a, that. Like a bucket boy? Yeah. This is your... Yeah. Like, oh, my God. You know who it looks like? The <laughs> um, the uh, antagonist on uh, Monsters, Inc., the first one? Randall, yeah. Randall. Yeah, I know what He's you're talking about. He's got like about. a real sly little chameleon dude. That does kind of look like him. You I know? didn't think about that. Yeah. So what's his name? Sopple Spanish? Intellion. Okay. And what's nice about them is that they're pure, like, types. It's not oh, like water sidekick, water ghost. Cool. It's just water. So he's just water, he's and this just one's grass. just grass. Yeah. Wow, really? Okay. And what's the last one? Is that the only photo they have of the last one? Nah, there's got to be. Look up Cinderace. That's it? Yeah, that's, that's his name. name. Cinder, C-I-N. Okay, yep, there, there you go. just popped up the first thing I pumped in. It's a real popular game right now. There you go. Yeah, it is. Jeez. Okay. Eh. I I'm not about it. Him. I don't think a lot of this people were. Like fucking, uh, what's that one fable or story that's like the rabbit? I don't know. Turtle in the hair? No, I don't know. It just looks like a person that's a rabbit. Yeah, I agree. I'm not for this one. Uh, definitely like my evolution the best. I do like Grookey's evolution, mm. but I don't know. It's a little too... Uh, too macho? Uh, yeah, it just looks... <laughs> I just can't get behind the drum, man. I just it's like can't. over the. It's a little over the top for sure. I can't do it. This one's like under the top. I feel like I don't know what you. It's like real weird. Yeah, it's kind of a it's letdown. Like, it's like eh, they could have done some cool. It reminds me of like a watered down Combuskin. Ooh, yeah. You know, I agree with you. Like it's just like it looks like a fighting type slash fire type. Yeah, but it's not a fi- fighting type, is it? No, it's just straight fire. Just straight fire. But <coughs> I like the game. So the game works out very similar to how the rest of them do. It doesn't yeah. do the sun and moon thing, which goes to the island trials. Stupid. Yeah. But the one thing it introduces is um, like this wild area, okay. which is basically, think Skyrim, to where it's nothing <laughs> but open world, and you like run into these Pokemon. That's de- kind of cool. I love it. And depending where you are, some like places in the wild are like, they have very high level Pokemon. Okay. You can run into a level 60 Pokemon- like before the first gym. Damn, are you serious? Yeah. You can run into that high yeah. level poke and just get screwed over? Oh yeah, you can get whited out because you can't run from him. Dude, that's what I've been seeing because I follow a page on Twitter. Yeah. It's called like Out of Context Pokemon. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. If you uh, want a good kick out of it. Okay. Um, but I did send us a few um, tweets from it. I'm trying to see if I can find Oh, I took a photo of it and it was like... Uh, Fuck, where'd it go? Did I delete it? You better not have. I don't think I did. Not if it's Pokemon. I know, right? Anyway, I don't know. It was like, oh, here's a few of them. It was like, Tentacruel seems interested in your mom. This is from Pokemon, like, Sun and Moon. Oh, yeah. And it's like all these stupid, like, little screen grabs. Seems interested in your mom. Yeah. Oh, Tentacruel. I get it. Yeah, but there was, like, all these videos of people running from Pokemon out in the wild like, there's videos of these people just getting attacked. Like, they're like, oh, and then it just, like, whites out and they run from them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy shit, this looks terrifying. Dude, honestly, I w- I've never once in my life been terrified of a Pokemon. That's crazy. But when you're out in this big open world and a Gyarados is coming towards you and you're like, that's a level like, 70 Gyarados <laughs> and I only have level 10s. It's like walking through the grass somehow. <laughs> yeah. Really? They... They're- <laughs> Gyarados is, like, floating okay. towards you. Jeez. And it's the most intimidating thing in the Does world. Does it show their level? 
No, but you just know it's a strong Pokemon, but right? Like, because some of them they're not in the grass. Okay, they're just out in the middle, and you're like, hey. oh, like those are the ones I'm you here. don't fuck with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Damn. first thing you run into is like an Onix that's level twenty six, and all your Pokemon are like level five. So have you? Has anyone caught this Onix? Oh no, I beat it. You because I had Sobble. Oh, I, I mean see. one little bubble. You couldn't catch it. You you. So the way they f- make sure you can't do too much. Okay, is that. Pokemon won't listen to you oh. unless you have so many badges. Okay. So if for some miracle you caught a level sixty Pokemon, it wouldn't, uh, do it wouldn't shit. listen to you until you had like the appropriate amount Makes of badges. Makes sense. You it's could like, still attack with it, but it wouldn't do the right attack. It would just confuse itself. Yeah. Not listen, loaf off. Yeah, you'd be better off just killing it and getting the experience at that point, right? Right. Or KOing it. K O. Yeah. You don't you don't kill Pokemon. <laughs> no one kills right? Pokemon. Dude, the first generation of Pokemon, uh, like the series. There was like one episode where they get like held up at gunpoint. Oh yeah, <laughs> in like that uh, Wild West town or whatever. Uh-huh. Hilarious. What um, the fuck. The other thing is that they have raid battles, which I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, you connect with people online. Okay. And it's like a four v one, and you're facing against like this giant Pokemon, which we Ooh. talked about. You can make them giant. Oh yeah, like the massive ones. Right. Yep. And they're like super strong. They can put up shields and shit. But if you like beat it with all these four people, you have the opportunity to catch it. Hmm. So it's kind of like Pokemon Go with the raid battles that they have now. Okay. But I like dig it because you can catch these rare Pokemon and That's, you can work with like oh, friends. Oh, you can and catch the Pokemon yeah. that you that you like defeat? Yeah. Oh. I like it. Uh what have you what kind of interesting Pokemon have you caught from that? From that? Not anything crazy. Not anything ri- worth writing home about, no. no. I haven't really dived into it right now. I caught a uh you want to know what it was? A Garchomp? Nah. I'm trying to think. I caught a Charizard. Ooh. If that I'm interests speaking you. Speaking my language. Yeah? <laughs> that 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 tickle your socks uh, yeah, a little? Yeah, hell yeah, it does. Garchomp? <laughs> mm-hmm. Trying to see what it looks like. I just, oh, but the I champion I was not impressed out. with. Fuck, our internet's out. Wah, wah. Yeah, your Hulu went off. Jesus Christ. What are we going to do? Oh, my oh no. God. I know. Seriously. Oh, no. I'm like, huh. Well, I can't get on Facebook. I'm go fucking reset the router before we voicemails here. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I really like it. Uh, there is a lot of problems with it because the story was shit. I did not enjoy the story at all. Really? The main antagonist, like, you know who the main antagonist is before it really even reveals it. Do you have, like, reveals a, it. like a Gary? You know what I mean? Like a So your rival, your rival your rival is your friend who is the little brother of the champion of the region. Oh damn. And he's like nice. Like he's Aww. a he's a nice rival. Dude, I feel like but, they're always doing that shit with the way like bullying and stuff is now. Oh no. Cause you have another one that arrives later. His name is Bebe. B E B E is how it's spelled. Bebe. Bebe or Beb. Bed, <laughs> baby, like from South Park. He's an asshole, baby. He's always like, uh, what is it? It's not worth the time to oh, even battle you. That's like, what's his name from uh, Black and White? The Black one, White. the rival from Black and White. Oh yeah, that asshole. Yeah, that was always taking photos and stuff. <laughs> photos, I think, what right? Are you talking about right. I don't know. <laughs> I it's the rival from Black and White. I swore he took photos. It's. Oh, I, I don't have internet. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> ah, why? Uh, I wonder why the internet is not working. That kind of pisses me off. Piss me off. But it was a good game. I really enjoy it. Casey's playing it. I saw she bought it, man. Mm-hmm. If I had a Switch, I'd play it. I need to see uh, how far she's at. Because I want to give her some... Because you get rare Pokemon at the end of the game. Okay. But I mean, you can't really train them or play with them because you're oh, done. So you're gonna give her? I want to see if like she wants any of them. Oh hell yeah, Casey! Okay, so you better take those and use them to your advantage. Yeah, that's badass. Another fun thing is you can like uh, trade Pokemon, but instead of like you know what you're getting, it's like a surprise. So like oh. I can trade like a Pikachu, for example, right? For and then I'll put it on this like wonder trade thing, and it'll give me like someone will send like whatever Pokemon. Sometimes oh, you get really good Pokemon. Most of the time you get or, shit. Yeah, I would say most of You just get a Wooloo bad. or a fucking a Wooloo. Yeah. yeah. A Badoof. <laughs> um, who the, who's the rival for Black White? It just came up. Rival Sharon? No. Sharon. Sharon? <laughs> Sharon? C-H-E-R-O-N. It's not huge. He wasn't taking pictures, though. Mm. He was just arrogant. Yeah, he was just- I a, don't know who you're taking just a pictures. Beetle. You're thinking of Pokemon Snap for yeah, the N64. Yeah, the hell is it? Uh, that's gonna bother me. 
Let me type in images. Da, da, da. Wait, are you talking about the anime? Yeah. Because that's different, I think. This dude. Paul? Hold on. Bring him up. Fuck. Come on. Um, This guy. Oh. What's his name? I don't know. Uh, I forget his name. Least like. No. That. Hold on. Go down. No. <laughs> God damn it, Johnny. Which one? This one? Johnny, no. You fucked it up. Which one? Paul is the worst rival. Paul is like a... Uh, I forgot what he was in. I think he was in Diamond and Pearl. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. But that's him. He's got like gr- like blonde hair. Right here, right? That's not. That's him right here. Oh, I never met him. I didn't watch Black and White. I oh, hated Black that's and White. Right. I've told you this many times. It's all right. I mean, it was on uh, the game. I don't. Oh yeah, the anime. It's all right. It was just on Netflix, and I finished all the Indigo League stuff that was on Netflix or Hulu. So I was like, oh, it looks like I'm watching this. You got to play more of the games, dude. I know. I want to. There's so many for you to experience. Like, <clears throat> I'm jealous of you. I'm jealous of Casey because. Dude, that's like the first probably Pokemon game she's... Uh, is that the first one she's ever she's playing? She's played silver. She told me the last time she played was silver. Like gold and silver. So she's played up to those ones? Right. And then nothing else. So she played like red, yellow, or blue? And yeah. then gold and silver? Yeah. And that's it. I'm so jealous because like... Damn. Sword and Shield has a bunch of Pokemon that are, you know, we know them. Yeah. But for like cool, her... There's some cool shit. Everything's new. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is some bullshit. Yeah. She's like, I have a backpack. I can actually like store things yeah. and like order. Right. Like, that's like the one thing I hate about replaying like the old ones. There's just shit you can, everywhere. Wait. And black and blue and like red. You can order your stuff in your backpack. In blue and red? Not yeah. in like categories. You can put it first or second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just I, uh, all in your backpack. I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. Oh, I just want to get my Pokeballs here <laughs> or my potions. Uh, well, you have to sacrifice first some things, man. First world problems, <laughs> Pokemon. God damn it. I don't know. That's crazy, though. So you what? You beat it in like a day, right? It actually took me a little longer than I thought. So I got it Friday night. Okay. I actually took Mallory out to dinner because I was like, this will be the last time we see each other. <laughs> I'm going to see you for like um, three days at least. <laughs> um, so I took her out to dinner. We got home. I busted that boy open and I played until yeah, 4.30 busted. in the morning. Oh, my God. This mm-hmm. is Friday night. Yeah, Friday so night. So Saturday morning, 4.30. 4.30. Uh, and then I put an alarm clock for nine o'clock because I was like, I want to wake up and keep playing. Oh, I was like, I can't. It I was can't. that good. Oh yeah, I had a great time Dude, with it. I don't <laughs> know when the last time I've enjoyed a, a video game like that. Red Dead Redemption. No, not even. Nah, you love that game. It was fun. Well, get a Switch, play the Pokemon, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I like the fact that you can play it on your TV. Yeah, and yep. if you want, like Mallory's been watching The Crown. Yeah. on netflix so when she's doing that i just like take it out of its dock and i can still play that's badass it's so nice yeah i'm jealous um, anyway so you were playing till 4 30 yes set an alarm for nine i played all day saturday i went to bed up. at midnight i wasn't as crazy and then sunday around 5 p.m i beat it good god two days two days it actually it was like 22 in-game hours it's pretty quick well, Not I'm, the first I'm time you've heard boy. that, probably, huh? I don't have problems. I only died once, and I'm pa- I'm pissed off. What do you mean off. you died? Like, like I, your team got defeated? Yeah, and I'm pissed off because I went into this diner, and I wanted to talk to this guy and see what, like, what kind of dining experience I could have had. And he's <laughs> like, hey, you want a battle? And hey, I'm like, kid. yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've never turned down a battle. I'm like, sure, this is a new town. I just beat the third gym leader. which You're feeling pretty confident. I'm like, yeah. because What I, level is your team at? It was like 30s. Oh, okay. It was kind of crazy because before you got to the first gym leader, your Pokemon were level 20 or plus. Before you get to the first the one? The first one, yeah. What's the first gym leader at? It's a grass type. What's his, uh, what level? Are, I think like it his, was like level 20. What it, What was like his last one? Do you I remember? don't know. It okay. was like a cotton ball Pokemon. Oh, okay. Um, Weird. But I was going into it. I was stressing myself out because I was like, I over leveled. Like, why did I do this? I was like, this is stupid. Oh, you thought you like. Yeah, I you, fucked up because I'm like, now this yeah. is going to be really easy. It's going to be too easy for you until you get to whatever, right. like the last part of it. Yeah, but I was on par. So I, I was like, well, this is fine. Perfect. Um, but no, I only di- wiped wiped it out once because this diner guy asked to battle, and he had level fifty Pokemon. I'm like, <laughs> what's shit, happening? This dude is just like the he shit on me. master, just hanging out. He's like, my real dream was to have a diner. 
I was so I hate mad. Pokemon. And then when I leveled up my Pokemon, I went back there and I oh. fucked his world up. You took him for every sandwich and French fry he had. All he gave me was curry, which I didn't even use. Fuck curry. <laughs> Shit just burns your butt afterwards, anyways. That's what I'm saying. It's nice and spicy. So when you beat the uh, champion, you go into like this little side quest after the game, which you catch the legendary Pokemon. Okay, so there's a champion. Is it like an Elite Four kind of setup again? No. It's just like the champion of the gym, like one last no, person to so battle. No, you do eight gyms again. Okay. And then at the end, you and all the gym leaders come together uh, because you are like trying to, you're fighting for a position amongst the gym leaders to challenge the champion. Oh, shit. So when you get that, like get that invite all the other gym leaders come and they bring like their max level pokemon so you have to battle all of them again no it's set oh. up in brackets oh which is cool because i was i thought that and i was yeah. like i don't want to fight i like, like i just fought it. all of them yeah yeah like why can't i have done this in the beginning right so you only fight four which is kind of like an okay. elite four yep but it's like a bracket and then whoever wins you have the opportunity to challenge the champion oh that's kind of cool yeah that's it so made more sense to me so it's really just like a like the gym leaders, if they win, they get to challenge the champion. So the gym leaders were already in this bracket. Like they already have like. Oh, so there was other trainers like you. Right. Okay. They it's all. Like a tournament. Right. Okay. So what you would do, you and a lot of other people who were <clears throat> part of this, you had to go beat all eight gym leaders. Okay. And then you had to fight each other, and whoever came out on top got the opportunity to fight the gym leaders again oh. in a tournament to see who can challenge the champion. Damn, dude. Yeah. It's kind of, it's it's a little it's weird, but yeah. I like it better than Sun and Moon. Yeah. It wasn't like fuck the Kahunas. Those, fuck those island challenges and those Kahunas. But I was okay that Bullshit. there was an Elite Four. I wanted there to be because I really like the Elite Four it's members. It's kind of like a nostalgia thing yeah. too. But this makes more sense because I always thought to myself, like, if you're an Elite Four member, that's like your only job is to like guard the champion. Hang out and be really powerful. Yeah. It'd be better to be a gym leader, I thought. Might as well. Yeah. At least you can like. Go off and do things. Yeah, you can like have friends. You can go on quests every once. You can leave your gym and go on quests sometimes. Right. You can't just hold hands with Lance all the time. Yeah. Well, it says you. Yeah, it says me. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but that's cool. So you enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. It's I'm worth still it. playing it. Still catching the Pokemons. Damn. I have not seen all of them yet. There's still Pokemon that I don't know what they are. What was your uh, your starting six like when you became champion? I had my Sobble's Evolution. Okay. I had an electric poison type. I think it was Toxtricity. What's its name? And you would have liked this too because it was an instrument based Pokemon. It was like what this the lizard. What's with all these instruments? With like these a Pokemon. Pokemon lizard. And it okay. had like its, uh, not veins, but like Sabs. vocal cords or oh. like sax. And it played them like a, like a guitar. Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. Yeah, it was weird. It's kind but of it was, disgusting. It was right. it, no, no, it was cool. No, it's good. Um, it's good, I swear. Flapple. Which was a dragon grass type Pokemon. It was based. It was <laughs> I need to look this Go one ahead. up. Flapple. Flapple. Um, Sounds like something you order from from IHOP. Uh, Car- I think it was Karna Knight. Uh, it was a steel flying type. Oh, he's actually so he's got like apple core. Yeah, that's Flapple. Like his his wings are like the core of an apple. Yeah. Look up Tox uh, Toxtricity. Toxtricity. I think that's what its name was. Yeah. yeah there you go. go. Yo, oh, that's pretty look cool. At okay, him. he's cool. Yeah. He's way cooler than Flapple. That's <laughs> Shut for sure. the hell up. Dude, Flapple looks like a fucking little worm inside an apple that burst out. I had Cent- Senta Scorch. Senta. It was like a centipede that was like on Senta fire. Senta Scorch? With a C, brother. Sun Scorch? <laughs> no. Oh, with, with a, a C. C. <laughs> Senta Scorch. There you go. There it is. I have, Like I said, all these are new to me. There you go. Obviously, they're new to everybody, right? Right. Pretty, that's pretty cool. I liked it. Was he pretty, pretty powerful? Like, it was a fire bug. He was all right. Like, he definitely bug. got what I needed done. Okay. You know? Fair. Um, And I think that was it. No, uh, the last one, I can't remember her name. Is it a flying type or some shit? Or water type? No, no yeah, it was a type. psychic fairy type. Oh. It was like the Abracadabra Alakazam line. Oh, that's cool. I always caught an Abra. Hatney, hat, hat something, hat magic. Hatterene? Hatterene, yes. But that's only the yeah. That's oh, it. cool. Yeah, she's hot. Oh god, what up, Hatterene? <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, and that was my team. Interesting. Uh, Not yeah. that. <laughs> Watch this. Oh no! Please don't. <laughs> Hatterene fan art. Let's see what comes up. 
It's not uh, as not bad as bad. I thought. Yeah, I thought it was going to be way worse. No, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So that was my it's team. Legit. I'm still playing. I'm having a good time. I caught this new Pokemon called Dreepy. <laughs> it's like a dragon ghost type. I Dreepy? like it. Yeah, Dreepy. Or, yeah. This one? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look up. That's its uh, evolution. Final though? evolution, yeah. It's kind of cool looking. Yo, I like them. Finally caught one. It I had to it. be uh it had to be a windy day in order to catch them. Oh, really? Yeah. They have weather. I love shit like that. That's hilarious. So this is the map here, huh? Let's see. Where this is just says where to find dreepy. This, this is, is only a small part of the map. Part of the map. So you see where this green, like the dark green, that's yes. like the wild area, which is like the open the world. Wi- wait, wait, which part? This part right here? Yeah, like all of this. Okay. And it goes down as well. It's like a big and circle. That's where you can get fucked by level sixty Gyarados. Huh? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Just get <clears throat> dicked down. Um, and then the rest is just nice. like your normal routes, like how the other games play. Right. Out. It's like the regular roads where you can travel and not be attacked. Right, right. Okay. I like it, man. It looks like uh, I like the map on this already a lot more than any of the other games. Oh, yeah. If this is the map you see on your Pokedex, and right? you don't have HMs. If you need to fly somewhere, you just like go there. Really? It's like a fast travel, yeah. Oh, fuck you don't have it. to use Unless... strength. You don't have cut. There's no Thank HMs. God, yeah, I know. <laughs> fuck <laughs> so, HMs, dude. I'm guessing you've had to visit it there first, right? What's that? To like fast travel somewhere? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's very nice. Hell yeah, I hated having because they're basically like wastes of moves for your Pokemon. So. I agree because they were never too powerful, except Surf. I liked Surf. Surf a was lot. good, um, but like I was gonna like waste a whole slot of an attack for like cut. Or like ridiculous rock slide or whatever, whatever the fuck. Yeah, get your HM slave to do that. Yeah, shit. exactly. I'd like a bell sprout and like <laughs> all these other stupid like little pidgey. He's cut. Yeah, uh, but it was fun. You should definitely watch some uh, gameplay of it. So the first day, I ended up watching a live stream on Facebook that just like popped up out of nowhere. Nice. Which is some dude like capturing some Pokemon. It looked cool. Mm-hmm. I like it. Like. It's the best Pokemon game to date. Is it a perfect game? Is it what we wanted? No. <laughs> but it's like the best one we have. Right. So fucking be grateful. Too. And I'm sure now that it's like on the Switch, it's going to be like any other game where they're going to update it and put different stuff in like, I don't know. Which is right? nice. Because this will be like one of the first games where they can really patch into it. Sure. You know, and they, they can, can make they it. Want. They want. Right. Because the, the hardware is a lot better. Uh-huh. It's not yeah. just a single like, I don't know. It's all you can download shit to it. Right. Like it's hooked up to your Wi-Fi so you can add do add-ons or updates and all that cool stuff. What I'm afraid of and I pray they don't do it is that they do like DLC. Oh, yeah. They might cuz they Nintendo likes to I could foresee them doing like storyline DLC. Yeah. And I would just not be down. Like what? Like explain like an example. Like uh so you have the story to where like um, this guy was trying to steal something from a cemetery and like you stopped him. But I could see like DLC to where it expands on that more to okay. where you got to go around more different regions and you encounter different Pokemon. Okay. But I'm just not good for that. Pokemon's always been, it's never had a DLC component. Yeah. Just you never it, paid more for yeah. what you got. Exactly. But now you're doing that for Super Smash Brothers. You're doing that for Mario Kart. Like every Mario other. Mario Kart's doing that? Oh, yeah. Like, what are, you, what are you paying for? You're paying for more courses. Oh. More tracks. And characters, probably? Right. Yeah, I could see that. So Nintendo I'd, needs that cash, man. They I feel don't, like they're hurting. Though. They're not. <laughs> they're the not? The Switch is one of the most, like, best selling consoles they've ever had. Yeah, but this it is. It surpasses like, everything Xbox has I'm ever sure, done. But it just came out, like, a year ago. And they've been like not doing much. What was the last one? The last big council kind of was like the Wii. The Wii U. The fucking Wii U that no one bought. No one bought that's that. sitting in <laughs> dusty boxes in <laughs> a Best did. Buy burned down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Wii U was shit. Mm-hmm. But this console's done great. I would say it's yeah. like one of the best selling consoles. More than PlayStation and Xbox. I believe it. People love Nintendo games. Just, yeah. I mean, the nostalgia of everything. It's good for like a family or a party setting too. Yes. Like you can't sit down with the Xbox with a bunch no. of bros and be like, hey, you want to play so Gears like, of War? Well, you can't sit down with just anybody and, and play Xbox. You can sit down with like, I can sit down with like older or younger yeah. family members and they just get that little Wii, or not Wii, God, fucking the, the Switch controller. Yeah, the Joy-Con. have like two the A and the B button and the control panel. Right. You're it's good. real simple. Mm-hmm. Like It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm definitely... It took me a year and some <clears> to buy the Switch, but like, 
I love it. It was worth it? I think so. Maybe like, I'll it's a great it. console. Maybe you I'll won't. see if Black Friday, if they have anything happening. Oh, they have it. They What's have the a sale deal? on it. What's the deal? What's the What's deal? The deal? <laughs> you like I, jazz? <laughs> I don't know what it is, Maybe I can get, but like I know the, they've been talking about the Switch on Black Friday. I mean, like, the Pokemon, like, uh, like the kit or whatever, where it comes with the game. The bundle? Yes, thank you. Yeah. You What's can that try. go for now, I wonder? The Nintendo Switch or the bundle? Bun- the bundle for Pokemon. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they sold one. No, they had to have. Fuck. I can't like go But I think they double bundled it, so you got Sword and Shield. Oh, wow. I don't think I need that, do I? No, you do not. If you get it, though, you have to get Shield so we can trade. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll uh, send you all the different types. You, Maybe I should do that just so we can we can patch through different Pokemon. You got to take, uh, take a hit for the team That's here. Fine. As long as I'm getting the other cool shit from your game. I'm trying um, to think of what else you get. It's not really that exclusive. Nothing much is different. Pokemon bundle. There it is. Uh, let's see how much it costs right now. Probably like 300 bucks. One? Oh, no. This is just Pikachu and Eevee. No, don't get that. No. Don't get Let's Go Pokemon. <laughs> that. I don't think there is one yet. It's not on Amazon. I didn't think they had one. Eh, hopefully it comes out. I'll keep a look on Black Friday and I'll let you know if anything comes up. But it's three hundred bucks otherwise, just for the Switch. I think so, but I think that the Black Friday deal was going to cut it down significantly, like fifty bucks. Oh, really? Which to me is significant. That's a good amount for like a game console, especially one that's doing well. They're going to sell a bunch of those things this Christmas. Yeah, it's looking. So if it's two fifty, that's I could do that. That's that's what is keeping you from it was that $50, fifty dollars, man. <laughs> With tax, that's uh, gonna be like four hundred bucks still. Did you play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go no. Pikachu? Really? And I won't. Why? Because I hate that you can't fight like oh you can't fight Pokemon in the wild. That blows so me away. That we talked about. You just you're just capturing Pokemon. Yeah, you just capture them, and I hate that. That's kind of dumb. It's kind of lame. I don't know it takes away the whole like point of playing pokemon but it's looking spoiler. like if you buy a nintendo switch the bundle will come with a game okay so you'll buy the game for i think the same price but you'll get like a 60 dollar game free so that's technically 60 dollars off because you're gonna buy a game with the switch oh for sure so Could I, where where was that at amazon i think it said target or oh, Best it's a target buy. can oh, i, I do it on amazon can i do a cyber monday deal i wonder what they get going on i'll have to check it out for you I'd be down know. for you to get the Switch because you can play a lot of games. Be fun. It's another uh, expensive hobby I can get myself into here. It's not that expensive. It's actually not that bad. No. Well, I guess you don't have fucking uh, family video anymore to rent from. Pisses me off, man. Yeah. That's okay. Um, I never really rented games there anymore towards my, you know, towards your like the, the end of their time, I guess, here in Lowell. <laughs> I was just mostly renting uh, Game of Thrones on Blu-ray. You pervert. I know. I'm a <laughs> sick little bastard. But yeah, that's, I mean, whatever. I'll buy the game. Or I'll just like look up the trailer, or, like look up gameplay and see if I like it. Yeah. Because that was like the whole point. That was all before. I wonder if that had anything to do with like renting games, like the downfall, like being able to watch people play them before you bought them. Probably, honestly, because you know what you're getting into. Yeah. I mean... I don't know. I watched the Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> Dude, that shit cracks me up. What didn't I send you something about yeah. that the other day? Fuck, I forget. See, what it you was. could get that. That game's only like fifteen bucks right now. I immediately thought of Mallory when I saw that game. Mallory wants it so bad. Oh my god! Get but it, I was like, get it wait till it goes on sale. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll just get her for her for Christmas. Oh, dude, that had me I'll have dying. it like on the TV as she wakes up. I was like, yeah, <laughs> like quacking at people, like, rang, rang, and you like pick shit up, like rock, chase them, yeah, yeah, like chase people around, fly around. Man, it's hilarious. Love that goose. Those simulators. Every time I see them, I think Mel, like <laughs> goat simulator. I bought her that recently, the go to the year, because it was only $10. Go to the year. Yeah, How G-O-A-T. She, like she didn't play it yet, because I've been playing Pokemon. Oh, you've been hogging the system. That's I've been fine. hogging the system. Eh, just I don't blame you. What the fuck? But that's been my weekend, man. Just a bunch of Pokemon. Just Pokemon? That's honestly all I've been doing. Did you stop to eat at all during any of this? There was one time mm. I played for like eight or ten hours, and I did not realize I didn't eat Were that Were you day. starving when you like s- like thought about it for like a second? I was very hungry, and I made some stuff up, and as I was eating, I was like, I can't wait to play Pokemon oh again. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't order like pizza. I you had know, like- Jimmy John's one of the days. Okay. 
Yeah. That's a nice little I mean, Matt and I had a big meal. dinner on Friday. Where'd you go? I didn't I don't think you told Red me. Red Robin where... Jum. Ooh. But I mean I got a milkshake. Bottomless fries. I got bottomless fries. What got up? that big old burger. What kind of burger are we talking? Smoke and pepper. It's not hot? No. Oh. I don't Smoke think and so. pepper? Yeah. What what Mallory get? You remember? Did she get something with bacon on it? I can't remember. Because I feel like I would just get like a bacon whatever burger. I feel like she gets a teriyaki burger. But I could be hmm. very wrong. <laughs> they do have good hamburgers there though, man. Mallory's actually at a uh, book signing right now. I saw she was posting stuff about an author. Holly Black. I don't know who she is, but I clicked on her like, because she added her. Yeah. And I clicked that because I was like, who is this? <laughs> is she like a like a horror kind of? Spiderwick Chronicles. Oh, Do you know that? Yes. Yep. She wrote that. Yep. Okay. She's more of like a uh, fantasy. There, mm-hmm. She writes a lot of books about fairies and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Where's that at? She, What's she doing in the signing it? I, I wrote it down because Mal said if she gets kidnapped, she wanted me oh to know God. where she was at. Jeez. What it's kind of Illinois. following does this get? This it's author. Anderson Bookshop in LaGrange, Illinois. LaGrange. Okay. Yeah. So it's like an hour. So I got man. that shit down. Nice. <laughs> God dang. Well, hopefully Mal doesn't get kidnapped tonight. No. That's pretty cool though. So she's going to meet the author. Yeah. Nice. I told her to bring like another book that like. To see if she would just sign it like a Spirewood Chronicle. She's like, no, I don't know. I was like, you you're going to regret you it. You only get one book or what? Well, is the, she not supposed to sign it? The deal with it is you sign up for it, you buy the book, and then she's there to meet and greet, and she signs that book. Oh. But I was like, fuck, like, just bring the other book, and you're like, hey, could you also sign this, please? Yeah, but and if, if she can't, then you can't. Yeah, I understand. But at Ima- the same time, you don't want to be that person. Imagine going to like one of your favorite musicians, yeah. and they just had like a record. And you wanted them to sign it. But also, wouldn't you want to bring like... They would get it. I feel like they'd understand. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm with Mel. I don't want to be like this. I don't want them to be like this fucking person. Well, I told her. I was like, feel the room. Bring it with you. Yeah, you could always... If it feels like it's got to go faster, if it's going slow. You always have it. That's true. That's true. I was like, because you're going to go around and like someone else is going to bring something. And and like, damn, I should have brought... Exactly. She's like scanning through the books at the bookstore to see if she can buy like an older (laughs) copy to get signed. That's what I'm saying. Hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough call. I guess you're right. You just have to read the room, see what happens. If you could meet an author to get like a book sign, like who would you want to... It'd probably be uh, the dude that wrote all the... um, I think that boat cool. book. I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, Lost Liners. Um, actually, that boat book. How dare you? <laughs> Have some fucking respect. What if I knew who it was too? Have some fucking respect for Bill, whatever Johnson. <laughs> it's under the table. You slam it down. What the fuck? <laughs> I already got mean? it signed twice. <laughs> I slap you with it. No, I'd probably have. Uh, I think his name's Christopher Paolini. Poloni. Oh, the dude that wrote the Aragon, Aragon series. Yeah. Yeah, that's that a had a one. that had a big impact on me in my youth. I feel like I loved reading those, and I still do. Did you finish it? Uh, I haven't read the very last one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna restart them, I think. And um, but I did read. There was like a one-off that was like 250 pages. That was like oh after everything. It that was happened. like the witch, the worm, and yes. something else. And I read that mm-hmm. and immediately just loved it again. And I was like, okay, wow. I need to read this shit again because. I need to finish the whole story. Wish you'd have told me because I threw away my inheritance book. What? Well, I think I did. I have all it. of them. No. I have all of them. My mom and I read them all at the same time. Aw. Dude, she can freaking read. Your mom's a speed reader. She, she can told read me. shit in like two days. Good like, for her. Holy shit. But yeah, um, I would love to meet him or I would love to meet, well, Tolkien Tolkien is dead, I think, right? What I'm talking about. Tolkien. I don't know if he's dead. And saying this on air is scaring me because we have so many people who love J.K. Tolkien. Or not J.K. Tolkien. (laughs) Mike. Don't call. Don't pause the podcast and call in. I know I fucked that up. Don't even. Don't even call in. J.R.R. Tolkien. (laughs) Tolkien. I don't do people call him Tolkien. But isn't it George R. R. Oh, Martin? Dude, he Wait is, a second. Isn't it George R. R. Martin? Yes, dude. He is long gone. Thirty <laughs> years ago. He died in seventy three. He was born in eighteen ninety two in <laughs> South Africa. Ooh. And he died in the United Kingdom. Trevor Pretty Noah. fucking crazy. So he was what what would that be? Eighty he was like eighty one years old. Yeah. It's a long life. And like, he had a yeah. he had a lot of stuff. He did a lot of stuff. So that's I fine. mean, he fucking, yeah, like he made the book of the century. 
Arguably. Uh, notable quotes it says on his wiki is one ring to rule them all, mm. one ring to find them, one ring to bring one God, this is like a tongue twister. <laughs> one ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. That's pretty cool. Did you ever read Lord of the Rings? Yeah. You said you read The Hobbit. I read the first two. The Fellowship and the Towers? Yes. And then no. I read The Hobbit and then The Fellowship. Oh. Yeah, I didn't read that, The Towers. Mm, or I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's the like, Hobbit. I, I think, watched the four Star Wars and I watched the first uh, one. <laughs> I think The Fellowship was my favorite. Yeah. Out of the two that I read. The Hobbit was a little much for me because I read it when I was young. Mm. And it was a lot, there was a lot of shit going on. And I was like, I think Mal and I were talking about this in the car when we were going to Cole's party. I was like, he was just like super descriptive, but like the different type of barrels that the that like Bilbo and like the all the other dwarves were hiding in. Right. I was like, what is happening? It was like two pages of describing what type of shit they were hiding. I don't know. It was a lot. But people also search for C.S. Lewis. That'd be cool. George R. R. Martin. Who would you uh, want to go see? Probably Lemony Snicket, who Ooh. made the series of unfortunate events. I really let's love those books. See look like. Let's see what this mug looks. Lemony like. Lemony Snicket is not an attractive man. What if you're mean? listening, Lemony Snicket, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's what, what is, it is. <laughs> let's see. Why does it keep coming up, Daniel Handler? Oh, is that, that his? Yeah, Lemony Snicket. This is Lemony name. Snicket. Yeah, he's just like a like an. Like a big dad. That's basically what he is. He looks like just like an average dad. He kind of looked like, uh, what's that guy from The Office? Oh, the dude that dropped the chili everywhere? No, uh, not The Office. Parks and Rec. Uh, Larry, Jerry, Gary. He looks like the younger brother to him. Okay, he just looks like a big like fucking dad. He looks like a bro, though. He'd probably be at the Hooters drinking some Bud Lights. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> but probably him. I would not pin him to be Lemony Snicket. That's pretty cool, though. Mm-hmm. That's the cool thing about authors and like, Writing, I feel like you can be anybody. Well, you, 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 you think look that, like you don't yeah. know what you look like, yeah. And they have like a distinctive voice in their writing, and then it's mm-hmm. like, you're like, oh, what does this person look like? And you're like, holy shit, I would never <laughs> guess that in a thousand years. Ooh, you know what else? Uh, R.L. Stein. Oh yeah, I know what he looks like. I feel like I would want like a signature from him, like on yeah, his yeah. first oh, book. Oh, dude, the, you know? where the sidewalk ends. That was wasn't it? his first book, was it? That's Shel Silverstein. Oh my god, dude. We are murdering this fucking What did R.L. Stein write, Johnny? Hmm. Oh. Goosebumps. Where's R.L. Stein? There you go. <laughs> Shell Silverstein. Oh, where he the is. sidewalk is. I was like, ends. yeah, probably where the sidewalk is. <laughs> Look at this mug. That was back in the day, too. He looks He's, like he belongs on, like, a newspaper wanted ad for, like, <laughs> some shady shit. He, he, fuck? you say what you want, but, like, he pumped out the fucking books. Fucking write some fucking scary shit for teens, Like, huh? he, he's like Stephen King. He well, put so, like, many books out. Stephen King, I think, has called him, like, a child's version of him. Oh, of course. He wrote, what, what would it be considered, like, the middle school version of Stephen King, kind of? But Basically. Just, like, Spooky stories for kids, like nine to thirteen year olds. Yeah, the Maybe. Night of the Living Dummy was the scariest, Dude, in my opinion. Shit scared me, but I loved going to the library to check out those books because it was just like it was messed up. What is this? what the hell? A child's first book of Trump. <laughs> what is this? It's like a little potato with a wig. It oh looks like. Oh my god! What is happening? Dun, dun, it's dun, full dun, screen dun. now. It's ten dollars. What the? Dun, oh, it's dun, an audio book. Dun, dun, dun. Huh. The other one's I'm naked and I'm bored. That's ah. the, that's the recommendation to make with it. Hilarious. Yeah, there's like a whole poster that of all the books that you wrote. It's a good amount. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool though. But I'm with it. What have you been up to this mm. past week? Just other than dying slowly. Other than trying to fucking get my life together, <laughs> being sick. Um, what did I do? Uh, oh, I had an adventure this weekend. I have to, I have to tell you about. Did you hear about anything? You that told, Kim told I me? sent no. Tell you you sent no? a Snapchat. No, actually, you did not send a Snapchat. We were talking. I think Nick or Cole. Oh yes, yes. And it, was, like, no, it was on our Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> it was on the COD Squad Snapchat. Yeah, which has now changed names to what is it? Johnny is a traitor. Johnny is a traitor because all because one night I changed my clan tag. We were what were we? I don't even remember. Like. I forgot what Nick said, honestly. It was a mouthful. I didn't even have it. No, no, no. Our clan tag on the game. It can be four letters, I think. Five. Five. 
Mine's Mona right now. Okay. Well, I didn't even have. Cracking open like a cold, nice, it, crisp Gatorade. That literally sounded like. What did it sound like? Sounded like uh, some weird sound effects for like breaking bones. Really? A little bit. I'm down for like that. If you snapped a few fingers, that's probably what it would sound like. I could break some bones. <laughs> yeah? I feel like if I had to. Like someone else's that was, uh, like you were trying to defend yourself? Like if I was bet that I couldn't, basically. Oh, shit. You know, I get frustrated at work because people always say that they can like arm wrestle me and stuff and like jump higher than me. Well, they don't give you enough credit. They don't. And you know what? I jumped, I had a jumping contest at work Jesus. last week and I beat the hell out of everyone. A patient or a coworker? No, coworkers. Okay, good. I don't, <laughs> the patients. <laughs> if I look at them like wrong, they, break they fall. Hip. Yeah. Oh God. No, I get frustrated. Everybody's saying, I could beat you in an arm wrestling contest. I'm like, girl, I weigh 200 pounds. You're the only dude that works there too, yeah. right? I'm so, like, oh, you get, well, I, not to, no offense, ladies, but. Mike is probably bigger than all of his lady co-workers. Am I right? I am. Yeah, okay. And it bugs me because I'm like, yeah, you work out. Yeah, you do yoga. But like, I am a hefty man. <laughs> like, it's not all about strength. It's more about like yeah. gravity. Yeah, you're <laughs> okay? getting some leverage and shit. Yeah, it, yeah. Yes. So I fucking Dude. jumped higher than her and I will uh-huh. never let anybody forget <laughs> it now. Do you remember we used to have to jump for, was it the presidential fitness? We didn't have to jump. Oh, oh. you know what we had to do it for? It was for weightlifting. Feel- Oh, oh you, we had you a do? field day, okay, and we had like long jumps. Oh, in high school we had to do it when we maxed out for football weightlifting. Yeah, you had to check your vertical, and I was never great at it. Your vertical? Yeah, you had to like jump <laughs> straight up, and you had to hit that thing. <laughs> you know what? You're better <laughs> yeah. at your horizontal, hey. if you know what oh. I mean. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah! No, dude, I would always. I don't know. I'd be all right, but they had like the thing. It was like a stand. And then it had a bunch of like little te- like things that swung out, and it had like the number on it. So I know like exactly seven what inch, you're talking seven about. Seven two, seven three, seven. That was four. in the weight room. Yeah, and you'd smack the the highest one you could, and that was your vertical. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I never did great. I think Row always did pretty solid. I would hit He's all a of them. Goofy little fuck. Really? Mm-hmm. Damn. I was tall though. Yeah, you were tall. But I was like still, six foot still. I never grew after, but t- yeah, me neither. It's kind of tough to hit all those. I remember Zane would just like walk under it and slap all of them. They might have been a little higher than that, though. I can't remember. Oh my god, that'd I be re- hilarious. Zane's just like, <laughs> <laughs> when we um when we did our Shakespeare video, mm-hmm. we did something where you'd introduce each MC. Yeah, and I remember for me, they put me in the weight room with like my sleeves rolled up. I think I remember and, like, this. Bench, yeah, pressing. dude, I remember that video because it was like on this because we would all do a video. Yeah, and yours was like, yeah, you were fucking pushing up some weight, and I was like a little surprised. You had like forty fives and something on. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, look at Mike show. Yeah, I was like, no up. one believes I can do it. Let's yeah, do it. Dude, Let's you, show him he had the pretty good. That's a lot of weight. That's kind of like what I do now in the gym. I do like forty fives and. I think tens and fives or some shit. I think it was Reese Plank's idea because he's awesome. like, "Where should we have Mike?" And he's like, "I know in the gym because no one would ever <laughs> no expect." No one would him. think Mike would be in the fucking weight room, dude. Ours was because w- we were both MCs in our Shakespeare Fest, which was like a giant, f- like it was just like a play of like a variety of plays. It was basically theater, but for a class. Yeah, so, so you got- anybody could do it. So like. We had like a, there was always like a couple theater kids who kind of knew what the fuck was going on. And then there'd just be like everyone else. And then you'd be like, <laughs> there was a couple else. like wild cards that were like really good. Yeah, you didn't like, know. Damn, you should have been in theater. Right. But they were like, no, I'm a three sport athlete. And I was like, wow, you're really wasting some potential here. <laughs> uh, our teacher loved us though. <laughs> yeah. The theater kids, because we would like know our lines. Hell yeah. We would know like stage direction. Dude, shout out to Miss Magley. Shout out she to Miss Magley. There would always be people like, because I was an MC, and then she she was like trying, like people would try to fill like their cast. You could like pick like a, like a section of a play like right. hamlet or something and you have to ask people you to do be like in 10 it. pages or some shit or eight pages right. whatever not long and they would always be she'd always be like does someone want to do this with this person and then she's like <laughs> people wouldn't raise their hand yeah and then she'd just be like johnny how many are you in i was like i'm in 13 and i'm an mc <laughs> she's like someone needs to join this other person because they'd be like someone else had like four plays and they wouldn't even be doing anything <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can't join anymore. I can't remember anything else. I'm sure you were the same boy, though. I, yeah, because she's yeah. like, Mike, 
you can't be in anymore. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's not my fault. People keep asking. Yeah. I can't say no. She's like, tell them I said no. Right. You're in 15 oh, damn hilarious. things. Yeah. But I think for our uh, intro, we did um, my roommate from IU, mm-hmm. like my future roommate then, Jim Canelli had a, his parents had like a Ford Sprinter van, which was like a 16 passenger like fucking bus. Yeah. So it was basically like um me picking everyone up in like the shakespeare mobile oh my god i remember that yeah Yeah. it was actually a pretty fun little sketch like one time like i think like i forget like what the fuck everyone was doing something weird though like one of the girls was like shaving her legs with like peanut butter and a knife Oh fuck! another like guy was like in the bathroom and like came out with like the headdress on and like like his body covered in like a towel and everyone's like we got shots of all of us sitting in the van and me driving the van and everyone like the girl had still like peanut butter on it it was it was a lot of fun yeah it was always fun making videos in like high school oh yeah that was like a free wild west of just whatever you wanted to do just you wanted to make people laugh too that's all and entertain other people which is why i was like this is cool this is fun i like making people laugh on video so and here we are today. Here we are. Doing a podcast. Fucking trying our hardest. <laughs> Probably not doing much laughing at home, huh? No. But my weekend was fun. It was uh, an adventure. I didn't do a whole lot last week. Um, I was sick. And then uh, Friday rolled around. God, I, I don't even fucking remember what I did here. But all I know is that, excuse me, Saturday, <clears throat> um, Saturday, I uh, got up, got my boat and stuff together. I was going to go check out um, the river for doing some hunting. So I went out. Hunting. Some hunting, baby. And this is the first solo river trip I've ever taken by myself. Told my parents I was going with someone just so they wouldn't worry. <gasps> you lying on, son of a bitch. A DL here. They're like, you're not going alone. I was like, that's fine. I'm going with someone. I went by myself. <laughs> um, so I launched uh, over kind of by your neck of the woods there. Yeah. At LaSalle. Yeah. Uh, Fish and Wildlife off 41 there. Mm-hmm. And I checked out the north side of LaSalle, which is basically you sign in and you can go and you can just scout and hunt. And there's all these bayous and all these different things. So you, I signed in, went there, ran into like the only other person out on the river fishing. He was like coming in when I was going out. Yeah. It's like one or two o'clock. I was going for an evening hunt and he's like, oh yeah. He had like his heater and shit. He was bass fishing. I was like, you're insane. I was like, you're out here bass fishing, huh? He's like, yeah, I caught two small mouth. He's like, it's pretty slow. Damn. I was like, you're a diehard, man. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I know. And he's like, I needed to get out. And he's like, you got a fucking nice boat. Like, he was talking my ear off. That's, I was like, Jesus, dude. Do you know how old he was? Was he younger? Yeah, 50. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, that could have been my brother for all I know. Really? Not 50, though, no. <laughs> but my brother <laughs> still is down there. I'm sure he fishes and like does all old. that stuff. He's uh, 90... He's 99. We need to talk about this. I, I didn't know you had like a uh, a brother that was a little bit younger than you. He's 20. He hunts and fishes the river? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll tell him That's to look crazy. out for this guy wearing a... Uh, yeah, well, you're usually wearing camo. Uh, the flannel. Oh, the camo. I'm all camoed up out there I'm now. Look for this guy who has camo like... Whenever big... he looks at you, you think you're gonna, he's going to like diddle you or That's something. That's right. That's oh, my dude, friend, okay? <laughs> Loaded shotgun. He's flying down the river. No. But I went... So I ended up going out talking to that dude for a little bit. <laughs> And uh, went out to a bayou that I found that was, like, partially open. Everything was, like, frozen up still. Mm -hmm. Everything's thawed now, though, which is, I don't know if it's good or bad for hunting. But everything was frozen. So I found, like, a bayou that was, like, partially open. Yeah. And, like, scooted in there (laughs) and uh, threw some decoys out, hid the boat because it was, like, there was, like, enough room for me to hide on the bank in the bayou. Yeah. And then cameled up the boat and just kind of hung out and watched a bunch of birds flying around. None of them were like coming to me though. They were all just using like the LaSalle refuge. Oh just yeah. A shitload. There's like a bunch of birds in there. You're not allowed to hunt the refuge. So I'm sitting Could you there. Imagine? Yeah. Oh dude. <laughs> I'm just in there tearing it up. But um I'm sitting there just like checking my phone, Snapchat, and I'm calling, like kind of looking around. Yeah. By myself. It's getting late. And then out of the corner of my eye, like it's there's like an hour till like shooting time. The corner of my eye, I just see something fucking locking right into my decoys. And I get like nervous and excited. I'm like, oh shit. And there's like a hen mallard right in my decoys, just locking right in. So I just pull up, bang, and just shoot it. So you I was get like, it? fuck it. Yeah, I shot nice. one hen mallard. I was like pumped up about it. <laughs> so I shot a hen mallard and I was like, oh, maybe they're going to start coming. 
No, nah, that was <laughs> it, dude. It was one <laughs> dumb duck just came and sailed, one dumb sailed duck. right into my decoys, was liking whatever I had to present for it, and uh, and I blasted it. One shot, one kill, and I breasted it out. I'm going to cook up some duck wrap or bacon wrapped duck. What does breasted it out mean for those who don't know? Uh, I just like filleted it. So like they've got a breastbone. Oh, and I got the legs too. Ooh. So it's got a breastbone. Picture yourself like both your nipples to the left of that. There's like a clavicle. You cut down both sides, go underneath it, and just breast them. Like chicken breast, basically. You had me a picture of your nipples. Picture your nipples. That's it. That's all I had to say to perk Mike's ears like, up. Ooh, I'm Ooh, picturing baby. them. All right, all right. And then I cut their, you cut their legs. You know, most guys don't cut their legs. I'm going to start using their legs. They're real small. So, guy, it takes, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, but I, I, duck's legs are small now that I think are. about they're it. They're about... You never um, think about the legs of a ducks, but they're like stick figures. Dude, they're tiny. That's kind of funny. <laughs> well, you're getting up to the top, it's like two quarters maybe. Really? Like that's two, it? You put two quarters together, it's about as much meat as you're getting off of them. I feel like you don't get a lot of meat from a duck. The breasts you do. Yeah. They got breasts, succulent you get, boobs. You get about, shit, I don't know, about that size. That's like a bee. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't know? You don't know those cup, cup size? sizes? Fuck! I don't know, man. Yo, next time, next episode for episode sixty nine, I'm gonna bring different mm. cup sizes, and you have to guess which cup that size it is. Is a great idea. There we go. Like look, blind, look for it next week, buddy. A blind cup size, yeah, like test. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know I only know those D's, oh. those double D's, triple <laughs> E's, baby. Oh my god! I'm like this is a triple D. This is a triple W. <laughs> That's what I make my SpaghettiOs in is a triple E bra. A triple E. As dip that shit in, pop it in the like, microwave, right, it acts go. as a bowl. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. So so I, I scouted that spot because then and like hunted there that night because the next morning I was taking my soon to be brother in law Mitch, Steph's fiance, my sister Stephanie's fiance, out for his first duck hunt ever. Wow. Yeah. Did he get his license? Ever. Yeah, he got his Indiana license, his stamp, all the shit. He did pretty well. Wow, good for him. I was proud of him. Yeah. He's got a shotgun and stuff, and he hunts deer, so he knows how to shoot, and he knows how to hunt, and he's got his hunter education. He, like, checked out. So I was like, yeah, let's go hunting, dude. I got a rig now. I got a blind. I'm, like, kind of learning some spots. And uh, we get out. Like, I meet him here at my house at, like, 4 a.m., drive out to get some coffee at the gas station, then head out to the boat, like, the ramp. And we launch. We get everything going. Everything's cool. Everything's gravy. We get down to the spot. We take, like, a... It's it's like a fifteen minute boat ride, and we're going a little quick. Okay. And it's probably about twenty mile or twenty degrees out. It was cold. This it's weekend. cold as fuck. It was not cold. that I would know. I didn't go outside. Yeah, it but. was cold. I was like, dude, just dress warm. Like it's gonna be a, a cold little jaunt on the river. Yeah, and uh, we were both cold. I'm driving the boat. <laughs> I've got a spotlight on the front of my boat, like in the boat, like a big ass light. Yeah, I've got a work light that I can kind of move around, and then I've got a handheld flashlight. That I'm moving just to make sure I don't hit any logs mm -hmm. because that scares the shit. I don't want to like slam a log in the middle of the night and get thrown from my boat. The river runs low often too. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't super familiar with this part of the river too, so mm -hmm. I was taking it a little bit slower. I've got a fucking fifty horse motor on that thing, so it'll scoot fast, go thirty miles per hour. But I was going probably about fifteen, maybe ten. Mm -hmm. And we got there in plenty of time. We set up our decoys. And we just watched ducks all day flying around. Nothing wanted in. I was like, dude, I'm, Mitch was like, it was cool just coming out to see, you know, watch, you know. Experience it. could have been something. I was like, yeah, if one would have slipped up or, you know, if it was a little bit colder and things were freezing again, yeah, that's when they start to come on the river too. So uh, I was like, all right, it was like 10 o'clock, 1030. I was like, okay, we're probably not going to get anything to come in here. Let's start packing it in. He's like, all right. At night? No, 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 10.30 in the morning. Oh, I'm, we still, got there. I'm still going from 1 a.m. No, 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 no. from 4, the night last day. 4 p.m. 4 a.m. we got oh, out. 4 p.m., Jesus Christ. 4 a.m. We, we we left my house. Okay. We launched around 5. We got there. And That's a good time. Yeah, we got there, and we got set up by 6. Okay. 6.10 was shooting time. So 6.10, you could illegally... Mine, too. Hey. You could legally discharge your firearm at Waterfall. Um, we left at 10 30 AM. So we pack up, we're ready to go. And then I go to start my motor up and it's like, wah, 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 wah. I get it to run. It's like, wah, 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 wah. it doesn't want to like rev or idle up high. Like it's supposed to, Oh no! it's giving me like half speed. 
It's like bow, 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 bow. there's fucking oil shooting everywhere out of it. Like the the water's like covered. It looks like the fucking BP BP spill. Oh no! And Mitch is like, dude, it looks like we're leaking some gas. And I was like, oh fuck. He's trying to be nice. Like, yeah. Hey, he was, did you? There's, yeah. We're like trailing oil. I was like, oil. sometimes it does this. It's an old. It's a two stroke. It's old. It's like a 1985 motor. Oh my god. And I try to start it again. I fuck with it. I take the lid off. I like try screwing around with like my gas. Um lines because there's like a ball you pump on the outboard motors to get the gas pressure going yeah and i fuck around i facetime my dad he's like trying to tell me what to do (laughs) and then i was like it's not gonna happen i was like you're gonna have to go pick my truck up to my dad yeah you have to pick my truck up from the LaSalle boat launch we're gonna have to float and paddle down river to the state line boat launch oh my god he's gonna have to come and pick us up with my trailer so we can put the boat on the trailer and I was like, this is going to be a fucking adventure. And this is Mitch. Mind you, this is Mitch's first time ever out. And I was like, dude, usually when shit like this happens, like we shoot our limit. Yeah. Like you're going to have really good and then it's got to like balance itself out. I was like, so far this has been like just a subpar shitty morning. I was like, unless we like stumble on like $100 on our way into the boat launch or some shit, this is this is bullshit. So we... Uh, we packed up all the decoys and stuff and i'm just paddling thankfully it was down down river and mm-hmm. it was only about two miles so it's about a 40 okay. minute paddle with the current at our back what was the current like it wasn't super strong but it was strong enough oh my god could you imagine going against the current we wouldn't be able to that's why i was You'd be glad. dead <laughs> where we were we were close enough to two um boat ramps it's like I was halfway in between both of them. You would have had to get towed otherwise. I would have had to call Holy like shit. my buddy's friends or my buddy, like Luke's uncle or Luke's cousin or Luke's dad on the river yeah. to come pull, pull me all the way up. Oh, my God. And it would have been a fucking circus. Yeah. So we got down there. I'm just like paddling us slowly. The river's pushing us down. I'm like, man, sorry about this, Mitch. He's like, no, it's fine. And then it starts fucking raining on us. I was like, to add insult <laughs> to injury here. She's going to start pissing out of the sky. And I was like, how great. But we roll up to state line uh, boat launch, uh-huh. like the boat ramp there. And my dad and my nephew and my brother-in-law, Josh, are there. Joseph's there. And there's like a little like inlet. And we're like still probably like three or 400 yards away. And all I hear is Joseph screaming. He's like, ah! like screaming as loud as he can. It's like echoing down the river. Oh, my God. And there's a dude launching there, and he's going to, like, deer hunt. And he's probably just, like, looking at us like, what in the fuck is going on over here? So, yeah, we rolled up, got the boat on the trailer. I was like, thank God you guys were able to, like, I just send my dad the coordinates, like, on Google or Apple Maps. Yeah. I, like, dropped a pin, like, sent him, like, where he needed to go. And he got there pretty easily, thankfully. So I was like, thank God he got there and figured it all out. That's a wild day, dude. It was an adventure. I was like kind of panicked when my motor wasn't starting. Yeah. (coughs) I was like, fuck, what am I going to (laughs) do? I was like, well, I know there's a a launch down river. I was like, man, if this ever happened again, like I'm going to have to get a trolling motor, like an electric trolling motor. I thought you had one. No, not yet. Okay. I just have a paddle. (laughs) Thank God so, you had the paddle, though. Yes. Honestly. Oh, we would have been, literally, because that current would have just been spinning us. Yeah. And we would have had to, like, push off of things. Wouldn't have been able to control the boat. So what was wrong with it? Did you, like, figure it out? I'm going to take it to a um, marina this weekend, probably mm. Sunday. I'm going to get it done right. I think it's a cracked fuel line. Uh. I think I bumped it when I was, like, camoing the boat, the boat up, because we were in, like, kind of shallower water. Yeah. So I was like pushing it up against the bank and the probably like the back, like the lower end or the lower unit got caught up and might have jostled something inside and snapped it maybe. Ooh. But dude, it was just spitting gas everywhere. Ooh. And I'd go to like rev it up all the way. I'd get the motor starter started and I'd just fucking throttle down and it would just be like. Wah. You like dougied. I was like. Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> but the throttle's right on the side. Here's the wheel. Here's yeah. your throttle, like your gas pedal basically. <laughs> Slammed it. He'd be like, and usually it's like, <laughs> like fucking going good. At least you didn't so, like run it ragged, you know, try and yeah. get to a point. No, I didn't do anything fucking crazy shitty like that. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to get it tuned up. I'm going to get it fixed. And then you'll have to come out and check it out sometime. With I'll me. have to get my license before then. Yeah, we'll go fishing sometime. 
Yeah. It'll be more fun. I am not going fishing when it's below 70 No, no, degrees. we'll wait till the spring. <laughs> Do you understand We should me? go to the slough, me, you, and Cole or something. What the hell is a slough? Willow Slough. I don't know what that is. It's like down the street from your old stomping grounds. It's in uh, Morocco. Oh, Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Yeah, no, nah, I'll take you to it. I'll take you take to, the to the fishing holes. Shop? I'll oh. tell you. I'll show you where the, all the nice fishing the holes river? are. Yeah. Now I'm always north of. Uh, you're north uh, of, of LaSalle. I'm north you're upriver from all that shit. Right. Yeah. If you're on 41 and you're crossing the river, you're on the you're on the east side of it. Mm-hmm. You're going upstream, way east. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost in uh, Demott. Yeah, I know where you're at. Yeah. If you go. I think I actually count, like when I was a kid, I would count, I think it's five turns. Okay. You go left, 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 and mm-hmm. you get to the DeMott Bridge. I know where you're at. That's as far as I've ever went. Okay. So from DeMott Bridge to Schneider Bridge, those were my stomping grounds. Damn. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know every creek. That's a good stretch. Crick, and I don't know another word for a river. So. <laughs> Eddie? Eddie? I don't know. <laughs> a ditch that you ditch, know. Yeah, there. there you go. There you go. I like it. But that was my eventful weekend. Um. So it was good for one hen mallard the night before we hunted there. And I was like, man, we're going to tear them up here the next morning because we're seeing shit flying. I was seeing shit flying all around. Like, So what time did you guys get in? Man, I was like dreaming about like getting it. I was like, man, we're going to get in nice and early. I'll be able to cook up some breakfast, some like bacon and like yeah. coffee. It's like, you know, it was like a 10 minute boat ride or 15 minute boat ride up river. Right. It ended up being a 40 minute float. And it took us. I was fucking around with the engine for probably a half an hour. So we didn't get home till about one o'clock in the oh afternoon. Oh my yeah. god! Which is whatever. It wasn't that. Sorry, bad. Mitch. Serious. He was gonna ask you to be in the wedding, and now he's like, eh, maybe he's like, not. Fuck you <laughs> and your shitty boat. <laughs> I love that boat though. It's like the, if the engine like was a little bit newer, yeah, it would make such a big difference. But it's ran true up to this time. Would you consider <clears throat> instead of getting it fixed, looking for a new motor? Yeah, but I looked at the trade in value for my engine. Yeah. And I could uh probably get like a thousand bucks for it, maybe. Oh my god. Probably less than that. To me that's a lot. No, motors are expensive. How much is a boat motor? So if I got like the one that I want, I want like a newer Honda four stroke twenty five. But how many horsepower twenty five horse. Mine is fifty. Twenty five would be plenty for the boat. I feel like yeah. So let's type in let me let me uh Craigslist it. I don't want any of that shit. Okay, so I would want like a Honda 25. Okay. Boats. Boat parts? Boats, boats, boats. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. Hoes and boats. Honda outboard. Let's just see what comes up. Oh, these are all old. So guess what a newer Honda outboard, two horsepower. 2,700. Four stroke. No, not that much. It's 700 bucks. That's it? Guess how much a 2014 eight horsepower outboard Honda cost twenty seven hundred twenty two fifty. That was close. Two thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Okay, that's half of what my boat costs. But <laughs> but if, if you trade in your motor, then it's only a like bucks. a little bit It'd of be a like grand. Fifteen hundred dollars for yeah. for a nice motor. I don't know. I'm I don't just know. saying. Yeah, I'm with you because when you get that old of a motor, I feel like things just keep. But I was so surprised it fires up in the cold weather. Like fine. Like it was firing up fine. It just wouldn't want to <laughs> so go. So does my girl, if you know hey, what I mean. In the cold weather. <laughs> in the cold weather. It's nah, it's, it's got to be warm. Mal- it's got to be Mallory, at least 80 ca- degrees. Are you talking about your vehicle or Mallory? <laughs> I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. But yeah, man, that was my um, that was my eventful weekend. Other than that, I just like that day. That's I, like, like a fun day, though. It was. Well, you can look back on it and laugh. We're going to remember for a while. No wonder you're still sick. Yeah, dude, I was out there and it was it was like getting down to twenties <laughs> and me. Yeah. And Mitch, I was like, damn, it's kind of fucking cold out. I was like, I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. And Mitch is like, I know, man, it's fucking freezing out here. I was like, we'll give it another half hour and we'll go in. But yeah, it was crazy. I'm glad he got to see ducks though, because a lot of times you go out. And you don't even see anything. Yeah. It's like so discouraging. You could have just went to Rural King and seen ducks. <laughs> just a bunch of baby ducks. It's like one day I'm going to shoot you. I bring them out in the parking lot after oh I God. buy. I'm going to make some nuggets. You throw them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, dude, that uh, that has been my weekend. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, I have some videos that I wanted to show you. Some videos. Oh, our internet's back. Fuck yeah. Better be X-rated. They're actually pretty funny. Um, have you seen these memes that are going on? Um, not really memes, but they're just like 
posts, I guessed. Um, and they're like all these people like going to tell my kids this is actually this or this is actually this person. No. So it's oh, like a it's Kurt Cobain. Did you see that one? I saw God the Kurt it, Cobain. That was the one that I pulled up. They're like, I'm going to tell my kids this is Kurt Cobain, and it's totally <laughs> Kyle from the Amanda show. Didn't you like that? Because that's how I think shit. I saw yeah, it. I yeah. liked it, and I think I might have retweeted it. Yeah. I think Bad Boy Chad so Hoy also. funny, dude. Um, I saw that, and I was like, Kurt holy Cobain. shit. So there's all these threads that are like, uh, going to tell my kids this is what's in what's his name. So kyle x kyle x y kurt cobain i miss kurt 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 cobain so much what's his name billy ray cyrus oh my god court dismiss bring in the i'm gonna tell people that's judge judy yeah she looks like it shit so i thought that was hilarious there's some really funny ones on twitter they're like gonna tell my kid this is so and so yeah it made me happy i'm glad that we have such a wholesome meme coming around right now it's great dude also have you seen this have you seen this? Have you heard about this? I don't know. Nothing's on the screen. Sorry, hang on. Can you show me that bus thing again? <laughs> I'm still going to laugh. It's a grown ass man. <laughs> oh, okay, man. watch this. This is why I'll never go skiing. Have you Have you seen this? No. Okay, so it's a ski lift that appears to be malfunctioning. Okay. <gasps> Wait, it gets so much better. It's here. going fast. It's like going triple like super speed. fast. Yeah, and people are on the lift. Oh, that's terrifying. It's like coming around this corner. Yeah, and it's Damn. whipping these things around. Yo, look at this. Look at this. Watch this one. This is my favorite. <laughs> They get launched into Holy the snow. Shit. And now it's getting like crashing. Yeah. Holy and look at people shit. start jumping off like a hundred so feet in advance. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. This seems like some Rasta guy. Yeah, that would slam running. you in, dude. They're like, jump, jump. That's Watch, nuts. this dude's not gonna do it. Whoa! He's like, I'm a true <laughs> I think there's like a look, oh my people God. are jumping off. Oh shit. I would stay on it to to sue the fuck out of the ski resort. You see <laughs> Holy those are kids. Shit. <laughs> See that? Slammed them. Oh my god. And it's still catching up. They're like, why is anybody shutting this down? I don't think they know how. That's nuts. I don't know what I would do. There's gotta be an emergency so- like shut off. Yeah. That kid got fucking Dude. launched though. Holy I I would stay on it just to get like to sue the fucking company. You might die. How crazy is that? Isn't that nuts? Holy <laughs> shit, dude. That kid. I was <laughs> dying. It was like a whole three of them, too, on that one. It was just launched them into the snow. Oh, this guy's caption, I hate rides. Yeah, right. <laughs> dude, I was literally peeing my pants at that. Did you see the new Sonic trailer? Yes. We talked about this last time. Last no. Last podcast. We were like, look at this. Nah. And it had the comparison of the two. Did we? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. We were both sick boys. Yeah, we were, but we did talk about it, and I did see the whole trailer. Okay, you didn't Looks watch the whole trailer. So much better. Gotcha. I'm with you though. It's great. Um, speaking of fucked up weird shit, just look at this. This is another weird Twitter video. Oh my god, this Who is needs a, women. This is a podcast host and comedian, Louis J. Gomez. Okay. Um, if he starts sucking his own dick, I'm gonna no, lose no, no, my no. mind. Okay. I for, actually forget what he does, but I just know it's funny. So he's lip singing this with no shirt on. Oh, I was not <laughs> expecting that. He has one of those like oh, it's a pocket pussy, <laughs> and he's got it. He like mouth the whole thing with like the vagina lips. Oh, oh and he kisses no! it. Oh my god. That shit had me dying laughing, man. Oh, that oh, pocket damn. pussy. Love it, man. What's better, a pocket pussy or a testacuzzi? Oh man, why can't you have both? <laughs> In the perfect world, man. You're going to have both. You have one. Which one would you have first, though? You, well, you want to be relaxed beforehand, so definitely the testacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, speaking of testacuzzi, uh, we decided at work. So every year for work for the holidays, we do something for okay. Christmas. Nice. Usually, preferably, mm-hmm. we go to a very nice dinner. We went yeah. to the lighthouse our first Dude, year. Fuck yeah. We went to, uh, the company cover that shit too. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Why aren't you doing that again? 
I don't know. <laughs> and we went to another place um, last year, a real nice uh, Chinese place. However, where did, where did you go last year? Our, Sorry. Uh, asparagus. Oh, 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 yeah, asparagus yeah. up yep. in Cherville. Got it. Um, however, this year, and yep. we we get to bring a guest too. Mal's upset because she's not invited this year because we don't get guests because oh, we no. have such a big staff now. Oh, that sucks. But we're not going out to eat, which Mike likes to do instead. Oh, Me too, dude. Instead, guess guess what we're doing instead. Uh, let me take a wild guess. Do I'm going to take like a off the wall. Is it off the wall? It's not off the wall, but it's like... You're going Christmas caroling or some bullshit like that. No, I would not go 100%. <laughs> I'd be like, have fun. You're Bye. Sh- shoveling random strangers' driveways of snow. No, it's okay. nothing. It's still like a fun like okay. get together. It's like a gathering. Um, yeah. hmm. like going, are you going to... Like, <laughs> you can eat my dick. Like a, like, a brew, like a brewery crawl? No, like unfortunately. A, no, I would love that so. too. We instead for our Christmas get together for staff, we are going to the spa. What? Yes. What spa? Why do they think that you wanted you I don't they, don't they realize that there there's a male in the in the mix of this? Like I don't, you would have to go to your own like section of the spa, I feel ex- like. I will. And instead of going out to dinner, a nice dinner like we've done the last two years. And they're like, let's go to a spa. And I wasn't there that week, so I couldn't oh, protest. Oh, shit. That's when you were off. Yeah. That's probably why they, they did that on purpose. They're like, oh, Mike's gone? Yeah. Well, we all we all agreed to it. So instead of so getting be- nice appetizers oh. and a sweet dessert, I am instead getting a Swedish massage and a pedicure. And you're going to be sweating your balls off in some sauna with some other old j- dude with a saggly little sack, probably, right? I'm so... What the fuck? Why? Furious. <sighs> that sucks, man. I'm upset. I'll take you. Hey, you know what we should do? What? Uh, we talked about this last year, but it never happened. Let's do a... Uh, we did a lot of that yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, let's do a uh, podcast Christmas party, like out at a restaurant somewhere. Okay. Like a nice restaurant. Ooh. Just like to let's celebrate go to the, the fucking, pod? Let's go to the lighthouse. Okay. I'm down. Bring your gal. We'll bring our friends. Maybe invite the people that we've had on. Ooh, that's a good idea. And like some of the fans and like friends we have with the podcast yeah and get like a big group of people to go out for uh for a dinner for the cyber Shame podcast would not that be fun we can just all wear shirts yeah dude well not yeah well, i don't know about that but <laughs> we can wear like christmas sweaters <laughs> Ooh, an ugly christmas sweater to like boot it as well that'd be fun i think it'd be fun i think we should get that together um i'll call the lighthouse i was gonna say christmas is coming up <clears throat> or we can go to stacks i think i think our friend from high school works there still tony no he doesn't I follow him on Instagram. He's like in down Emma south somewhere. Emma told me he was. He's down south somewhere now. I don't know. Not that I don't trust you, but Emma knows a lot of things. I'll show you on Instagram <laughs> right now how I follow him. <laughs> He's definitely not in Indiana I anymore. I follow him. What's his... I'll, 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 yeah, I'll we'll get, get the deets later. later. Yeah, we'll get it later. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, I so, would, let's do... We'll, we'll uh, compensate your... Shitty my, company Christmas bullshit. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Mike, you don't have to come. And I will pay you, like, she's like, what I, she offered to do this, my boss. She's like, I'll give you the money that we would have spent at the spa on you just for you to use. Do that. It would have been better. However, in some sort of my mindset, I was like, that means I lose. What do you mean? Like, oh, no. I'm like, I need to go to prove no. a point. <laughs> I guess I would probably go to, because spas are nice. You yeah. ever like a. I've never been okay. to a spa or a massage. So it's nice. I got, so you get three things. I'm getting a. A Swedish massage. I don't know what that. It's entails. like a light. Okay. It's like a. It's soft. Not, it's not like they're working out like knots in your lower. That's back. my second one. Is a sports massage, which they are like they're that cranking shit into you. Hurts. I'm I'm for it. I'm not a I'm not a wimp like you, John. I am okay. such a wimp when it. I swear to God, I'm a big wimp when it comes to shit like that. I feel like you don't need it though as much. Uh, I feel like you would yeah. be better for your neck. Yes. I feel like your back and your body is not like no, it's not for bad. you. Right. Um, and then the pedicure for my feet. I don't know how that's going to go down because I'm ticklish. Um, I think you'll be all right. I think you'll enjoy it more than you think. I think you'll enjoy the pedicure more than you think. Okay. I've heard good things. I don't know. I was just bummed because I was, I was looking forward to this dinner, uh, like going out. Yeah, man. I'm and then I'm like, up. oh boy, I'm getting my toes rubbed. <laughs> <laughs> By myself. Can't even like be in like community of like your coworkers probably. Nope. 
Yeah, dude, that's crazy. They don't even have a guy section. They're like, guys usually uh, don't come here. Guys, What's, what the <laughs> fuck? We'll, we'll take you out back in the parking lot. There's an alleyway <laughs> oh that's my heated. God. We'll bring a tent over there. Uh, no, you'll. I think you'll like the massage. I don't know if, what I would have done in your situation. If I would have took the cash or if I would have gone. I'm not sure. Like I said, I feel like I needed to prove a point. No, I Because everyone's it. like, you won't go. And I was like... Bitch, watch me go. <laughs> Show up in a speedo too. Oh my! Or just go like naked and no, like roll up. I'll get like a tan before going, like Ooh. a spray tan. <laughs> you get like super swole too. You just like oh, yeah. fucking leaned out, steroid. Mm-hmm. I got out. the fuck gutters. You got roid raging <laughs> fuck gutters going on. Hell yeah! Oh, I look speaking, like one of Tyler's wrestlers. Hell yeah! Speaking of roid rage, my nephew <laughs> has been on steroids because he had croup. Did Kim tell you about this at work? Kim was telling me that he was on steroids Dude. and he's turned into like a little. He is nuts at night. Like the first two nights, he was just like, I was down here playing Xbox, and all I hear is, <laughs> no, like screaming him. Sc- and he's usually a really well behaved boy. Yeah, he's always screaming nice. Screaming no to his mom and dad upstairs. Just like wholeheartedly, like he was just like super fuck, fucking pissed off. He was not having whatever they were trying to tell him. Yeah. And he was just like, Kim said he was like shaking. He didn't know what to do with like all of his energy, like really screwed up on steroids. <laughs> So that was kind of, it's been a wild week here. Kim was telling me that uh, the doctor was like, now he's going to be like really mean. And she's like, oh, that's okay. They always and say that. And she's like, too. I did not expect him yeah. to become like really mean. Because I always say that because I think he's been on it before mm-hmm. and nothing really happened. And then all of a sudden he was like fucking Hulk mode going nuts on everything. He's throwing the cat everywhere. Like, Damn, yeah. She was telling me that like usually he loves having the dogs around, but mm-hmm. he was like freaked out by them. Yeah, he didn't want them anywhere near him. Poor he was, like, kid. Screw what? this. Oh, sorry. Poor kid though. Yeah, like, at the it's same not time, his fault. Exactly. Like, you, you can't even really punish him. No, you can't. You, they were just trying to like calm him down. Calm him exactly. And they finally got him to calm down and like watch like a TV show and like I was like, damn, that is nuts. Joseph like disappears, and you're like, like, where'd he go? Ah. He's outside chopping wood, He's just screaming, screaming <laughs> under the moonlight with his hands out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of chopping things, dude, we're playing D and D this Friday. <clears throat> what up with that? It's gonna Michael be a Koken, great time. It's our dungeon master. Mm-hmm. He's our direct messenger or DM. Yeah, <laughs> direct messenger um, <laughs> to the gods. Yeah. Do you want to? Do we want to break down who our character... Like, we'll just give our character stats and yeah, shit, and like what yeah. we're planning on playing. Yeah, so I am playing a human paladin that is a sailor. Which a paladin... Paladin... explain what that is? A paladin is someone who, like, seeks justice. He, like, goes out Boo. and smites evil. Like, he's a, he's a very lawful, like, guy. Um, but I think our characters might get along more than I... I didn't think. read yours, because you posted it real late at night. But okay. my guy is very strong with he's strength and uh, constitution oriented. So what is the constitution? It's your like HP. Really? Yeah. The more constitution you have, the more health you have. Oh shit! At least that's what changed when I was messing with it. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Um, I also have a bit, of, a little tiny bit of charisma. My backstory that I've created, which I haven't told Michael. Why don't you keep? Why don't you save this? Okay. Save that because I was going to tell you mine. You save weren't going to tell it, me? Save it for Friday. Okay. okay. I don't want to know. All, I don't want to get okay. too behind the scenes here. But I'm a sailor. My w- main weapons are a shield and a trident because I feel- It is hilarious. <laughs> Was that one of the- You could choose that from yeah, your list? No I could choose it. Way. I swear to God, a trident. What are the- <laughs> What are the- uh, Like- the, <laughs> what are some of the pros of having a trident? I don't, it had like piercing damage. Okay. And it can be used as a long ranged weapon as oh. well as like a short range. That's like how the axes are. I know I'm just spilling. I'm trying to fucking cap this. Um, That's but, how some of the hand axes are that I could have chose from. Right. And my two languages, I can do common. Nice. I can do common language and I can do uh, dwarfish. Okay. And I in You're my backstory, human? I won't tell you why. Yeah, don't tell me why. But all there's a good reason why I understand dwarfish language. Because you, you're fucking, you're in love with all like a dwarf village. You're like I don't know if I can be a in cult love. leader. Of I a can dwarf. probably be in love, but I'm not fucking. Oh, that's right. You're I'm like, not fucking bitches. I'm slaying witches. You know what oh, I mean? <laughs> that better be like your fucking logo. It's a tattoo. Oh my Before God. I became a man that of like better God. Better be like a T-shirt that your guy wears. <laughs> not fucking bitches slaying witches. That's awesome, dude. Bam. I like that. What is your guy? Um, so I am. I have my class thing pulled up here. Do you have your name? Have you like yes. made a name? My name is Ren or Renly. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 
My name's Gerald. Really? No. I'm not, you should. That I should be your name. That's Gerald. awesome. I like that a lot. Okay. I was like, Hello. Gerald the Paladin Fuck Sailor. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> um, I'm a half elf, uh, Outlander Ranger. Nice. So my armor class is 16. I have scale mail. My hit points are 10, speed of 30, 30 feet. Oh, wow. My strength is 13 plus 1, dexterity 15 plus 2. Uh, constitution is 11 plus 0. <laughs> so I think I might need to add some more to that. Hit points are 10. Mine was only 13. Yeah. And I'm like I think a, I'm you're a hefty the strongest. Boy. I'm the second strongest. And then I think it goes Mel, then Casey. What is Casey? Again? Casey is a halfling criminal. That's right. She's a criminal. But she's a uh, halfling. Uh, let me see. I got it on here. Mal's a bard. Halfling criminal rogue. Mal oh, okay. is a wood elf entertainer bard. That blows which is me away. Awesome. I love that she is that. She was going to buy. I'm not going to tell you what instrument, but she was going to buy an instrument for t- t- Friday oh, night. That would have been so awesome. And she's like, "Should I do this?" And I was like, "Probably not for just a oh. one bit. Like maybe well, if we continue doing if it. If we do it, I think we should continue doing it. If I Michael's like cool with uh, DMing, yes. If we do it like once every two or three months, I'd be fine with it. You know, okay. if he could, if every if everyone could make it in their schedule be awesome yeah but i have uh 13 plus one in into it what is int again in- intelligence intelligence <laughs> that's it something How i don't have How so i have 13 plus one intelligence 11 plus zero wisdom and 15 plus two charisma okay so i might move some charisma points around to my constitution and wisdom because i read that rangers usually don't need a whole lot of charisma no they're mostly dexterity and wisdom players yeah you might want to change it i'm looking at it right now because they're like their wisdom comes into like tracking things because my dude he's like you have to choose a favored enemy yeah because rangers like track and like that's what they do is like kill enemies like for a living so i just chose beasts which is like a variety of different enemies which is kind of cool i feel like that's good because in this D and D, like I feel like our enemies won't be known to us, mm-hmm. and you c- might have knowledge on them, which will right. help us fight them. We can track them. I can fight them. I'll know if they're in an area. And then I got to choose a. My other feature was natural explorer. Yeah, and you choose the landscape, so you can choose like Arctic, like sea. You can, and I just chose forest because, and then you just have like an advantage of like whenever you're in the forest, you have like an advantage over so much stuff. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um. My favorite enemy beast, I said that. I'm a wanderer. Dark vision, fair, answers, answers. My language is common, elvish, gnomish, and orc. Wow, you have four. I only have yeah. two. What the fuck? Scale mail. I have two short swords, razzle and dazzle. <laughs> Give me the old razzle dazzle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and then I have a longbow and a hunting trap. Oh, and I am proficient with bagpipes, too. I got to choose an instrument for some reason. Oh. So I have bagpipes. I think you and Mallory have the same instrument. Oh, no. I'll I think change she, mine. Uh, no. Keep it, and you guys can, like, duet. No, it's not fun to have two bagpipes. We I just play know. Amazing Grace on bagpipes <laughs> together. <laughs> I'll change it to something different. You're like, guys, what song is this? And you're I don't like, think, because I, I was do, do, looking do, do, do. at hers, and I was, like, trying to figure out what everyone's was, so I could kind of, you know, I want to have, like, a nice full party. We want to be a team player. Yeah. That's crazy. And I feel like we kind of are, though. I think so. I think this will be a good, we have like... a good... I don't know. Like, Mal and Casey are kind of more intelligent, and you and I are kind of more strength, and you're speedy, which is good. My dexterity is through the roof, which be- I wanted to do. Because you being speedy means you won't get hit as much? Exactly. Dude, that D&D podcast I've listened to, yeah. it's like everything is like, all right, roll a dex saving throw, yeah. like a dexterity th- like saving throw. I don't think I put any in my dexterity. And I was like, oh shit, I am going to not take any damage because I'm going to be like 16 plus 2 dexterity. What up? All my this dexterity n- is nothing. We're such nerds. I, I think know. we lost <laughs> half of our listeners talking about D&D. <laughs> you guys know the, the dexterity That's rolls? Fine. I'm fucking pumped for it though. It'll be a good time. It'll be a yeah. good night. It's going to be a late night, I feel. It is. It's going to be fun, though. I'm for it. I'm bringing some beers, so be ready. I'm bringing some pizzas, so be ready. What are we going to get? I don't know yet. I'm thinking maybe, mm, I don't know. I'm going to get the feel of the room. Either that or Gel Sosimo's. Ooh, I like both. Yeah. That would be fun. I am down for whatever, though. Yeah, you And Mal's like, we have a ton of wine. (laughs) And I was like, I'll try a few of them. We have 10. Oh, my God. So that's crazy. Are you her, guys like part of like a club or something like a wine club? No, we have a wine rack. And for the longest time, I wanted to fill it just to 
it like bugged me that most of we only have like four or three at a time. Okay. I was like, let's just buy a bunch and then just Fill have it, it full. Like yeah. this is bugging me that it's not full. Your OCD was kicking in. Yeah. You're like why isn't there like there's empty spots? It wasn't like aesthetically pleasing to me. Understandable. And I was like, I'll spend sixty dollars just to be happy about this. <laughs> just cheap wine. Oh yeah. It's all Aldi wine. It's like four dollars a bottle. <laughs> it's boxes. <laughs> it's like little bags of wine like shoved in the fucking <laughs> wine ports. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh. Uh, you better be drinking some Mike's hard that night. I'll get some. Because I have a ride home. Casey's picking me up because she, she said she had. Mm-hmm. Mike's staying the night at our yeah. place. Um, That'll be fun. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get fucking lit. Tie one on and play some D&D, baby. Tie one on. Uh, here is changing gears real quick before we do some voicemails. Oh, no. Have you seen this? I have not. I haven't, but I've heard it's insane. This is disgusting. Cats. Yeah trailer <laughs> taylor swift on it. idris elba ian mckellen it's the movie for cats and it looks pretty weird all i've been seeing are these like weird memes online from it i hate the way it looks and Let's i don't like see. the musical cats i'm not a big fan Tonight, is that taylor swift i don't know which one's taylor swift who is that fat that cat? one that was taylor swift. <laughs> taylor swift okay there's idris elba obviously wait a second is your thing still going my thing's always going, dude. Okay, I heard a skip, so I didn't know if it like. I've been popping it with the space bar. Oh, you heard a skip. What do you mean? I meant in like the sound, so oh, no, I wasn't good. sure. You're good. I don't want the yellow screen wrong. of death. Okay, man. Oh, fuck that. I want the people. to No, see we should it. be good. This one's going on YouTube for sure. Look at these. Okay, peeps. let's see who's who here. That might be Taylor Swift. Her? The, That's the, gotta be her in the middle. The here. blonde one. What up, Taylor? This T-Swift? bugs me Who's honestly. This? Look at this fucking one. Yeah, it's kind of Look, fucked up. It's like a band of furries. No let's, offense. Let's be on the D, like the real. I never found fear like uh, furries furries attractive. If you want to do your own thing, I'm cool with that. I don't mind. But this is just not for me. I've never been attracted to people that have like animal qualities. Okay, I'm with you, but um. <laughs> However, when I, I see an orca, I'm just uh, like, whoa. <laughs> no, looking at like the Taylor Swift one, just like her face is attractive. Everything else, I'm like, this is weird. But seeing like her eyes and her like facial features, yeah, there's I, something sexy about it. Not her body. <laughs> I think that's what's making like people first confused. throwing me off. She still has like 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 curves too. You know what I mean? Which like, is definitely. Kind of, which is like innately sexy too. It's like okay, I don't know what to think. I'm probably not gonna. I'd never. They're confusing young boys like you. I don't. Right. I'm so. I don't know what to think. I'm gonna go (laughs) jump off a bridge. Oh God. Do I love? Do I want to fuck a cat? Oh, what is life? (laughs) What a what a turn. (laughs) Ooh, that's what I want. See. Going to the ball could get dangerous. Ooh, where's that? Idris Elba. Elba. Idris Elba. That would be you. What the fucking the one that was like one? this one? That would be oh you. my god! Ah, and then Ew, we roll up that. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking weird ass cat Ew. dancing on the counter. He's so a- they're all actual cats right. in like a human world. I never realized this. Right. In like but, the human world, they're not human cats. They're right. just cats with like human characteristics. It's literally cats. Yes. I judge a cat by its soul. Ew. Whoa. Spotlight. And a drum roll, please. No! I don't know. Well, I've it, never... This in- is... I'll probably... I don't know if I'm going to... I definitely won't watch it, but I don't know. <laughs> I've never enjoyed, like, the music of Cats. And I feel like if you don't like the music of a musical... Memory. Isn't that from Cats? All alone in the moonlight. Yeah, isn't that from Cats? Yeah, it's from Cats. You know Taylor Swift's going to be singing that one. I feel like they should give it to a person that's a better singer. You just elbow. Yeah. He's like, memory. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, my God. Uh, like, cat will be reborn into another life. it looks, that's her. That's Taylor Swift. It looks good in terms of, like, if you're making a movie about cats that look like humans, it yeah. does not look bad. James Corden. There's James Corden. Of course. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. Jennifer Hudson. Okay. Ian McKellen. Wow. Look at his. He looks like fucking. He looks like Ian McKellen. He looks like fucking Professor X turned into a beast or some shit. He's like, fly, you fools. (laughs) Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's her. 
Okay, she's not blonde then. She's, she's the like a Rebel Wilson. Nice. Oh my <laughs> god. She's cute too, Francesca Hayward. Who is? Where is she? I from? don't know who that is. Francesca she's Hayward. Little... And introducing, so this okay. is new. She's a cute little cat. <laughs> you sound like Mallory whenever she's talking about Mona. You're just a cute little she cat. She sent me a video of Mona today when she was singing yeah. to her, and I was like, I miss. I can't wait to see Mona. I Friday. apologize. <laughs> so funny. And now it is time to make the choice. Nice. Uh Right, well, that's not going to work, is it? That's what I say to you. Cross pause. Oh, see, I just... <laughs> a little weird. It's too much cat. Yeah. Yeah, probably not going to be that great. The cra- like, I feel like they just stuff so much talent in it that people are like, well, everybody's in it. Yeah, exactly. James Corden, Taylor Swift, you just elbow like fucking crazy. Like, did you see they're making a Little Women? No, I didn't see that. They are. And the main character is... A guy? No. (laughs) That would be funny, though. (laughs) I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, my God. No, it's um, Hermione Granger. Oh, really? Yeah. Eh. Yeah. She uh, She's hit or miss with me lately. I don't know if I... What else have you seen with her in it? uh, Beauty and the Beast. I didn't really see it, but I kind of saw it. Eh. That is the most Johnny answer I've ever heard. I didn't really see it, but I saw it. (laughs) I just feel Mallory's going to go see it only because fucking, I can't think of her name. Emma Watson is in it. That's who, that's Hermione. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's dumb because Mallory hates Little Women. We were in it in high school and it was the worst musical I had ever experienced. Yeah. I hate Little Women more so than <laughs> Once Upon a Mattress. <laughs> I hated Mike Little is Women. fired up about Little because Women. Because it was the most boring thing in the world. I watched it. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was fun to see you guys in it. There was, was good talent it. in it, but yeah. it's such a boring story. My grandmother told me she hated it and it was boring. Wow. My grandmother would never tell me that. Oh, yeah. I've had a few. We had a, I had a few plays like that. Ugh. Curious Savage was kind of like, eh, it was kind of fun. And I was like, uh, I think we had a lot more fun than the audience did in that one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was hard. It was just a I th- different vibe. It was hard for the audience to keep up with the Curious Savage, right. I feel. It wasn't like a Don't Disney right. crowd-pleasing play. Right. But I liked it. To be fair, our theater director never... I guess he did Our Town. Our Town was no, kind of a crowd we pleaser. We didn't do too many crowd pleasers. Modern Millie was a big that deal. That was the only real crowd pleaser. In Little Shop of Horrors. That yes, was my but that was awesome. Freshman year, I lo- yeah I thought that was our that best was one, the best one I've ever seen at Lowell High School. Yeah, I agree. Right, Robbie Men- Robbie Mendoza is the dentist. He played the dentist. Oh Pretty my cool. god! I remember going seeing. It. I think that's why I wanted to, like do choir in high school because I saw that. I was like, this is fucking cool. It was cool. It was wild. Ah, uh, I miss cool. those days. Right. Anyway, enough of fucking cats. <laughs> enough of people dressed up as furries dancing around. With Taylor Swift. Doesn't get the old, the clocks working. I don't know. The gears are not turning. No. Not enough skin, too much if I wanna, fur. If I want to see a cat, I want to see those 16 nipples they got. Yeah. Whatnot, Where are they at when they're like nursing? Yeah, Fuck. that's what I'm saying. Spraying everywhere too. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit is gross. Spraying? Like when cats spray? Yeah. That's why you got to get them fixed, Fuck dude. up, yeah. You got to get your cats fixed. Yeah. Anyways, here's some voicemails from you guys. Uh, 219-552-1128. If you've never called in, call in. Tell us what you think about cats. And Oh, speak of the devil. That's weird. Felix, the big tomcat, the fucking king of the castle. Oh, my God. King of the forest. What would he be? Like, what would his song be? He'd be Idris Elba. In his, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of the cat songs except for me. He'd be like, feed me every night. Please feed me. Feed me wet food every morning and evening. Yeah. I love wet food. Give it to me. Or I'll meow really annoyingly at like 5.30. I like that. That's what he does. Just put that in 4-4 time and we're good. Yeah. Anyways, here's the first voicemail. What's up, guys? It's Paul. Sorry, I've called in a while. I've been busy working and... Oh, working, 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 you know? Nice, dude. Um, Sorry, Mike, about the costume contest. Uh... Old Cole got a little too drunk that <laughs> night and uh, so we forgot about the costume contest. That's fair. So, uh, Fuck. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That was uh, my bad. And then I'm listening to the podcast right now. You guys are talking about uh, deer and points. 
Um, last year in Illinois, I got the world record. Now we were talking about deer because I was talking. To, yeah, second. I was talking about a guy at work who said he was chasing this like mythical deer. He was like a fourteen or sixteen pointer, and then we got on the topic of like what was the most points recorded. Right. Yeah, we were like, what's the biggest deer? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, it was thirty six global points. So the point has to be, I think it's one inch to be scorable. So it can have a thousand one inch little points, and it that wow. they, they count. Well, I'm a six pointer. Um, if you so know I think what last I mean. year, yeah, someone in Illinois shot the world record at wow. thirty six. In Illinois, you shot the world Illinois, record. Illinois, thirty six. God damn, that thing's that thing's a bear more than well, a deer. Holy, holy shit. crap! Horrible points in like three hundred and. 50 inches or something like that. Oh my yeah, God. it was a fucking monster. <laughs> and it was, also, it was also shot by a disabled veteran, so oh, that's damn. one happy little fucker. <laughs> yeah, no. So yeah, let's we'll, uh, get some beer sometime and uh, take Mike to the strip club. I mean, what? Uh, uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. <laughs> I mean, nothing. <laughs> just get some good wings, that's all. Oh, he's just ready to eat good. <laughs> eat good and see some, some ass. Oh my God, some Hilarious, ass. dude. He wants to take you to strip club real bad. I'm maybe, maybe like when we're old. I'll tell you what, Cole. We're old. If you and I live to be seventy years old, I'll let you take me to the strip club, <laughs> and I'll eat the chicken wings, and I'll 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 throw the money, and I'll see the ass, and then I'll die. <laughs> and then you'll die right there. You'll have a heart attack right on the fucking. Uh, in your Damn. nasty little seat, yeah. your little fucking sperm <laughs> covered seat. It's sticky. Yeah, it's sticky. It's a little, like, greasy from the wing sauce, too. Gross. All right, here's the next voicemail. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> what up, gentlemen? Uh, believe it or not, I'm only an episode behind. Nice. Uh, I'm going to make my goal. Brit, right? Yeah. Yee. You caught up? I'm she proud. She did. Yeah, she's like, I'm like 10 episodes trooper. behind, and then she, like, binged it. Man. Hell yeah. To start listening uh, as I'm driving into work. It's only about a 15 to 20-minute drive um, to and from. But tough. Um, yeah. Ro had asked things that make you irrationally upset. And Johnny, you mentioned when you're driving, and while it's only a 15 or 20 minute car ride, um, it is a city drive, Ooh. and people just can't drive down here. So you guys help calm me down a little bit, which is nice. Um, it least distract me from all the ass hats on the road. Huh. Um, so I'm only episode behind, which is great. And that is my uh, pre New Year's resolution: is to stay up to date on the podcast. Nice. Um, and y'all were talking a bunch of video games, and I'm in this pickle. So I finally finished God of War. Um, I'll probably end up getting the new Call of Duty game to play with you guys since it's cross-platform. Hell yeah. Probably wait till Black Friday, though, so it's a little bit cheaper Cyber Monday. Um, and then you guys talked about Diablo. I never played, um, but I feel like I would need a gaming computer. And that's- yeah, Diablo looks pretty badass. That might be the next one I get. Diablo is definitely... I like it more on the PC. I have it actually for both. But the PC, you're able to... The button layout's better because you use a lot of buttons. The controller gets a little finicky. Yeah. And the we- mouse, you can be more specific. Right. Um, but I played it on my Mac. Oh, just damn. my simple Mac. And it played just fine. Could I play it on my iMac? Oh, 100%. Yeah. My, my Mac was from 2011. Okay. So, I mean. I hope it wouldn't slow it down. Though. That's the only thing I don't want. If it slows it down, just dis- like uninstall it. Yeah, that's true, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like um, trying to edit shit. It's like taking an hour. Like, All right, Diablo's got to go. First of all, Britt, God of War <laughs> is a fucking great game. I'm glad you played it. Like, what did you like? What did you think of the ending? Like, Wait, don't spoil anything. God of War, what the you new one the is where he's got like a little sun running around. Yeah, he's like, right? boy. Yeah. Boy, and he's like jumping Boy. off his back and taking attacks and shit. Right, cool. yo, God of War. You should play it. I think they have it for Xbox. Uh, I don't know. If, yeah, they probably do. Yeah, you can buy it. Maybe. They probably have a deal going on where for uh, Black Friday. Do they have Dark Souls for Xbox? Yeah, like the newest Dark Souls. It's like yeah. you died. Yeah. Do you think you're up for that? No, I was gonna say. But I heard. How frustrated do you get? Like I heard. Not to get off on a tangent, I've heard that the new um, Star Wars Jedi. Um, game that it's just good. came out like two days ago. Yeah, I've heard it's good from uh, one of our on and off again listeners, Ethan, Big yeah. E, who lives down in Carmel, I think. I was playing video games with him last night, and he's like, it's good, dude. You'll like it if you like Star Wars games. Yeah. You're like a Jedi. You can deck out your like all your equipment, your your lightsaber, 
like your ship. All I have cool it. Shit. I have some reviews queued up on YouTube. I just want to play as Baby Yoda. That's all I want, man. Can you do that? No, but did you see there's a lot of memes the going around? Yeah. I need to watch it. I have Disney Plus now. You have it? Yeah, my parents have watch it. it dude. I know, I know, I know. You're like, I'm too busy. I need to be in the mood to watch like an actual show and like invest myself in it. That to, like, blows pay me attention. Away. To like pay attention to it. You are so scatterbrained. I know. I'm like I'll, I like to do a lot of different <laughs> stuff at once. China. <laughs> Brit, but um that Call of Duty, I definitely think, is a good investment. I think you're right, though. Wait for Black Friday, especially yes. with it so close. Oh, 100%. It's yeah. not worth jumping the gun on. Nah. It'll be there. It'll be there. In a month. Yeah. Or not even less than a month. I a just week. got. Oh, yeah. I just got all giddy about it, though. I was like, I can play with everybody. That's and then was, we don't play with anybody. And we can't play because it's all fucking <laughs> slow and shit, too. It's like, come on. Well, that's because we play with Ro and Nick, who live on the other side yes, of the United dude. States. Oh Our ping God. is like 200. It sucks. We keep losing we Nick. We lose Nick every time we get out of the game lobby. We're like, ah, damn it. He tried joining me last night, and my internet was actually fucking up. Yeah. So I felt like, like it was doing now. It just dropped right. out of nowhere. I was like, what the fuck, man? He's like, are you joining my game or what? I was like, dude, my internet sucks. Sorry. Sorry. My man. Definitely not in your girl's budget right now. So um, let me know if, you know, that actually does happen and maybe I can start uh, saving my pennies and all that fun stuff Penny. for a gaming PC. Oh, um, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, and, yeah, keep up the good work. I'll talk to you all soon. Save Toodles. It. Toodles. Thanks, Save up your pennies to buy me a gaming PC oh too, God. would you? <laughs> just put a little half and half. Just split it down the middle for us. I think like Diablo's definitely a great game worth like, I don't know, and the investment in. But I would definitely watch some like playthroughs, like sure. pl- like some well, video of the it. The new one too, right? Right. That's the one that didn't they just Diablo Four. Yeah, it's not coming come out, out yet. It? Okay. Like you D- Brit, you definitely have time. Because, I mean, Blizzard's known for announcing things, and then two oh years later God. it comes out. Such bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, here is the next voicemail. Hey, boys. World's biggest fan here. Nick Mathias. <laughs> <laughs> Calling in from Montana. You got that Montana internet. Slightly disappointed in you, though. <laughs> I have a feeling this has to do something with The Mandalorian or Star Wars or Disney+. Plus. I don't know. He's never been disappointed he's, in me. Uh, he's disappointed in me, I think. I'm Most people that call in and they have like anger is usually towards you. Yeah, that's true. Or me for saying no, something. Disappointment I'm and like corrections are for you. Like anger is mostly me, I feel. Yeah. Like, right? So what are we going to get? What's your thing? I think it's going to be him being mad about me describing the Mandalorian wrong to you. I agree. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I know I've discussed in the past about you guys fumble fucking over your words, but I have a couple new ones. Oh fumble boy. fucking. First oh off, God. when you guys were discussing Elon McGregor and his brother <laughs> and who played it in Star Wars, oh. who was Obi Wan Kenobi? Oh my God, he's gonna bring this to, to us now too. Didn't we, Mal just already? We just already got fucking well, punished for this. Mal thought it was hilarious because it was stupid. Like it was, <laughs> and just like we're gonna hear about all the shit from like our book segment. <laughs> Nick's probably angry. R.L. Silver Silverstein. <laughs> George R.R. <R>. Tolkien. <laughs> R.L. Silverstein. That's what I'm talking about uh, at the end Shel of the Silverstein. Sidewalk. Oh, I was like, yeah, the, 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 the end of the sidewalk. Cyber Shinded Podcast, yeah. most accurate podcast out there. We need a fact checker. Someone just on Google all the time during our podcast. <laughs> just to fucking be in our ear. <laughs> what? That was the biggest clusterfuck I've ever heard. Yeah. Good gravy. And then I'm listening to your next episode or next two episodes. Ivan McGregor? What? Ivan? <laughs> I think you said Evan McGregor? You mean Conor McGregor, the UFC oh, fighter? Oh, that's right. Holy shit. That's and then right. Johnny, the worst of them all. Oh, no. Gene Hackman. Oh, yes. Really- <laughs> I was like, yeah, Gene Hackman. And you're like, no. I was trying to describe Charlie the Chocolate Factory. I was like, yeah, the fucking crazy dude that <laughs> has the factory that's killing all the kids. Wonka? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Gene Hackman. That was an episode full of fails. <laughs> we, to be fair, we were sick. Yes, we. I was out of it. I was on like some weird fucking cold meds. I Johnny still is am. still sick, so be easy on us with the books. Coors Light still though. 
I supplement my cold medication with Coors Light. Ro told me it's a good idea. He said to hydrate, so I drank plenty of beer. Tonight. I don't understand why I got better before you then. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe beer's not the answer. Maybe it's not a good move. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe I need to drink Mike's Hard Lemonade and play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I think he followed up to his voicemail. Later. What was saying? Yeah, I, I, oh, was that the end? <laughs> no, it was. that was the end oh. of the voicemail. <laughs> Wanted to get your guys' thoughts on new Star Wars coming up. Wow, what a shift in tone. Word on the street is yeah. that they called in my man George Lucas to save Star Wars because it's not going well. <laughs> didn't know if you guys had heard the rumors or what you thought about it. I didn't hear anything about it. I heard it's a good... I don't know if he's talking about the game or like the series on Disney+. I think Plus. the series. Really? Um, I think he's talking about the game. I think he's talking about the TV series. Maybe. George R. Tolkien is coming to save... <laughs> Shell Silverstein's coming in. Here's what I think, Nick. To be fair, the neck, the light, latest Star Wars movies are not all that. They're not great. However... Misa thinks that it's better than episode one, <laughs> which was directly under oh, George Lucas. How dare you? Um, did you I know think that- episode one, two, and three are still the worst Star Wars. I will take these episodes over yeah. them. Oh, for sure. Um, like, the original, Jesus Christ. The, the original two were the best. Yes. Like the first two the, released. Yes. I think the only redeeming thing on episode one, two, and three are first the memes and Hello Hello there. (laughs) General Kenobi. (laughs) That in a... You got a sound clip, (laughs) that. Oh, my God. I should. That would be so great. That would be one of our buttons. That in... uh, What the fuck's the dude? Dude from Taken. He's in it. Here we go. This is how it starts. Something... You ask a question, we try and figure it out, and we fuck up. Not Padman. James Patterson? Something Jin. Saigon... (laughs) Sai... Something Jin. Wait, who are you talking Sa- about? Obi Wan Kenobi's master. Oh, oh, yeah, from Taken. Something Jin. Side Wan <laughs> Jin. Saigon Jin. That is not his name. His real name? Or are you talking about the character's name? The character's name. What's his the actor's name? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Yes, I was trying to figure that. Neeson. Star I actually, Wars. I don't know his name because I'm not familiar. Qui Gon Jin. You're almost there. Qui Gon Jin. Qui Gon. Qui-Gon Jinn is a fictional character in the Star Wars franchise portrayed by Liam Neeson, one of the main protagonists of the 1999 film, mm. Star Wars Episode One. That I was in 99? I knew it was turn of Whoa, the millennium because it came out the f- same time as uh, Pokemon, the first movie. Oh, shit. Look at you. Look at good old Liam looking better than ever. He gets killed by Darth Maul. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Mal doesn't know Slash that. Slash the fuck. <laughs> Well, hello there. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Ian McGregor's brother. All right, fair enough. Here's Obi-Wan. Your, here's your boy, Jar Jar. <laughs> I just remember playing all the video games of that shit. Are you going to get Jar this Jar new video game? Mm, Nick, oh. are you going to get this new video game? He probably will. He's, he's a, got it. He's a fucking Star Wars, what do you call it? Fanatic. Mm. Yeah, he spoiled the latest Star Wars movie on Facebook back in the he's day. He's sucking on that teat hard. He's sucking on that George Lucas teat real hard. That's okay. Every boy has and it's to have only, a teat. And it's only skim, too. He's not even getting too fed from it because it's not even that great. Nah, it's Ovaltine. It's not, that's how, oh, that's, that's oh, how it's rough it is. It's strawberry Nesquik. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bullshit. Yeah. It's good at first, and then it gets just overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Nice. Excuse Damn, me. that, like, I felt that the one, base. Like, filled up my mouth, too. Anyways, here's the last voicemail. Pretty cool how there was a uh, Yoda species in the Mandalorian in the first episode, and then he also knows how to use the Force. You guys should probably check out these. This uh, show It's pretty cool. Oh shit! Are those spoilers? Oh no! Yeah, are at this point. Now nah, we saw Hello. a lot on Facebook. Hello. So guess what, Weird bro? Thing you do with their voice? Fuck you! Yeah. Because your spoiler didn't work, bitch. Yeah, everyone knows from like the. Sp- from like memes and gifs yeah. and shit online now that there is a little baby Yoda right. in the Mandalorian. So you can go around and eat just four dicks because of that, you asshole. Yeah, little prick ass. I'll defriend you on Facebook. Oh, he doesn't have Facebook. I'll tr- still do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll make a uh, page. For we him. make a Facebook account for Ro. <gasps> That's a good idea. I've thought about doing it for dating apps and do all the <laughs> weird screen grabs I have of him on Snapchat of like him slapping his ass midair. <laughs> Like his bare ass out and him smacking it and me just throwing that on there. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, 
I think that that no when he, when I saw that yeah we have a wireless printer the printer's print from oh, upstairs I was like, what the fuck is You're happening good. little m- phantom printer getting all a little scaredy scared yeah um when I saw that little baby Yoda it made me think of how far into the future or into the past they're going with the Mandalorian you know what I mean yeah because that was like, him damn. fifty <clears throat> what yeah he's fifty years old and he's that he looks that young yeah. shut up. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. No, really? Yeah. Wow. If you're telling the truth, I this is the most factual podcast out there. The only thing you know I what? speak you're right. is the truth. I can, I have no reason not to believe that you. That baby Yoda is 50 years old. 50 years old, dude. If you don't believe me, you can He's still sucking on his mom's teat. I don't know if they suck on teats. They'd have to. I Maybe. Think so. I don't know. What is what kind of species even is a Yoda? A Yoda? Mm-hmm. Oh, he is something. But I don't know the actual terminology for hmm. it. Yoda species. Hold on. I can find this out real quick. It's like some weird little green gnome. Par- that's, par- that's exactly what it is. Green gnome. Mm-hmm. I figured. Members of Yoda species. Um, no, we were just talking about that. Did you watch it? Did you see the baby Yoda on it? Yeah. Was it cool? Is it Carol, cute? Carol uh, approves. Is he 50 years he old? Gnome? I oh told my you. Gosh, are I you told serious? you. Carol checked. And he it. knows how to use the force. He's a baby. He's a baby at fifty. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's good. It's good. I, mean, I need to watch it. It's a little dark at first, yeah, it's dark, but everything is shot well. It looks like it's a cool looking story. All right. So I like how they're oh, releasing it's only it once a week. Okay. They're, yeah. No, they're uh. probably doing it every, once a week. They're doing it like an episodic. You know, I read the reviews too because I was looking to see when the next one was going to be. They want to know when. Interesting. Well, I I imagine they'd release it at a like an actual schedule, like every Wednesday or every Thursday, right? Yeah. Huh. I need to watch it. You do. You I have it. Good. I know. I need to download it and watch it now. Very cool. Carol approved. So there you go at home. And Mike wasn't lying for once. He's 50. <laughs> Holy cow. Yoda species is listed as a Lanik. L A N N I K. I don't know. What did you just call me? What the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> and you can get out. <laughs> and, you, and your sister's one too. <laughs> your mother. A Lanik. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Weird. Um, I need to watch it, I guess. I think Looks you would enjoy good. it. Yeah. Look at that thing. That's him. Ah, he's so cute. <laughs> Little baby Yoda. They said they're going to like why sell they, plushies of him now. Why do they talk like that, though? Why do they got to talk like that? Yoda? Like all backwards. It's probably not his native language. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I feel you, bro. Yeah. Bro, I feel you. Yeah. So, yeah, go uh, go watch The Mandalorian, I guess. I guess I'm going to have to watch that before our next episode. Everybody contact Ro King and give him all the spoilers to everything you ever watch. Like, to the first s- day it comes out. Spoil his wedding for him. Something like, that, tell him what happens. Oh, she, she breaks up with you. <laughs> she she stands you up at the altar. Uh, <laughs> easy prediction. Oh, I could see it. Sarah's like, fuck this. Every movie I'm going to watch, I'm going to just like Snapchat them. Because technically, our time, we're two hours before him. Oh, that's true. So I can see like anything before him. Anything he's interested in remotely. Yeah. Just spoil it. But yeah. Nah, he probably wouldn't Is he interested much. in anything? No. He doesn't seem like he does much. No, he doesn't. In terms of like. He just sits around eating Doritos on his couch and like fucking with, <laughs> harasses his dogs. With all the pictures that are stills. Yeah, Dude, all that's a serial killer. You are a serial killer, bro. From role. like Target that he bought those frames at. It's <laughs> fucked up, bro. Anyways, you guys, thank you for calling in. If you haven't, 219-552-1128. Let us know what's going on. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving. So uh, give, what? Thanks. give thanks, you dumb bitches. <laughs> what's up with that? Get some gravy on what's your turkey. What's up with that? Get some gravy on your turkey. Get that dry meat wet. I'm so excited. I like dark meat. I eat so much. I'm a dark meat kind of guy. I don't eat like the day before, just like prep myself. Jeez. I could see it. Mm. We're having like 30 people over here. That's a lot. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be shit. It's going to be good. It's going to be gonna, gonna be good. Can we get through one episode <laughs> <laughs> without that day? Yeah, I didn't thing. play the piss drop, so you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Mike, let's do it. Let's plug it up. Where can they find you online? You can find me at makeout underscore Mike on Twitter and Instagram. 
<laughs> he takes a swig of Coors Light when it's her, his turn to talk. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Johnny That Goodrich and Twitter at Johnny Goodrich. You can find the podcast on Twitter at Cyber Shindig Pod, Instagram Cyber Shindig. We just posted a new video today, um, a little promo from last week's episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to upload this to YouTube because I think our camera is finally updated and not going to be giving me yellow video anymore, which is awesome. And as always, buy our merch. Uh, Ro put our, speaking of merchandise, <laughs> Ro put our our logo on like a sticker like website. Ooh. And he bought like a whole shitload of stickers for real cheap, cheap and just going to be sticking stickers all, nice. over, all over San Diego. Good for you, Ro. And I was like, send me I the take link. everything I say back. Right? I was like, send me the link. I'm going to do the same thing and just get cheap stickers and start sticking them in like bathroom stalls and shit like that. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Especially around here. Yeah. And I'll put like our, I'll do another one where I like put like the phone number for our voicemail on it. Nice. Might be fun. That's a good idea. Yeah. Next sure. week also mm-hmm. is the episode everybody's oh, been excited shit. for. Oh, shit. It's the episode 69. So if you guys are like tuning in next week, get Fuck ready yeah, for a dude. messy day. We're going to have something going on. I feel like we need to do something. Maybe we'll have a guest or two on. We're going to have the owner of the Lion's Den here on the Cyber Shindig Podcast. Listen, if anyone knows that owner of the, of the Lion's Den, they're more than welcome to come on. Get, yeah. get them in the podcast studio with us. <laughs> I would love to have them on and share a Coors Light with said person but until then i don't know we'll get something going it'll be fun it'll be a wet it's gonna be a good time i'm gonna get a little sloppy probably i'll be a little x-rated oh you know what that's we're doing it wednesday i don't work next day maybe Maybe i'll get a little sloppy too you're right the next day is uh if we want to do it that day the next day is thanksgiving so i'll I'll be a a, a, uh we'll uber you home is that what it's called yeah yeah we could do that designated driver we could do that maybe mallory can drop me off she can come hang out too if she wants nah she's not allowed no the boys room welcome to the boys room holy shit guys thank you again for listening into the podcast hey do us a favor recommend it to a friend share it online like our instagram page do all that jazz and catch us next week for episode 69 of the cyber shinnick podcast we'll see you next time